useful gaming's Dungeons and Dragons, the Tower of Dreams. Let's get ready. Dragon horse, Trojan horse. Um, you guys got into the city, you rushed straight into the th throne room, and you engaged in a lengthy battle with the king and his two guards before you saved Helen of Troy and exited to floor three. And floor three we have here is the labyrinth. Uh, the objective that pops up says escape the labyrinth, and that is all. In front of you, you see what lays out before you. You're on kind of an island surrounded by water. For the sake of ease, we have separated the labyrinth into four sections, a top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. You can choose which direction you want to go, and I'll pull up the map for that direction. Um, in front of you on the ground, I haven't put it in here, but you see a dead body, um, just kind of skeleton remains. It's been there quite a while from what you can tell. Uh, it's wearing some luxurious clothing, but uh, it's, it's pretty tattered. How luxurious? Uh, it looks like it definitely. Uh, Look hmm. comfy. It looks. <laughs> it looks tattered. <laughs> I don't know about comfy. There's a nice breeze. You, if you think it looks comfy. <laughs> Does it look like it could fit me? Do I perceive um, it as comfy? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Well, comfy is more of a uh, subjective of term, so you can decide whether or not you think it's comfy. I got a five. You got a five. Uh, to you, it does not look that comfy. It's made out of eyelashes. <laughs> 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 uh, I guess, are there any other notable things about the body? If I go, I'm going to go up and examine it, look, see if there's uh, yeah, why don't you give me a jewelry or whatever. <coughs> some or some or sigils from something we've seen in the past. Eight. Eight? Yeah, not great. Ooh. Yeah, you search through the body, but all you seem to find is uh, a lot of bones and a lot of jewelry, but it doesn't look like it has any magical properties to it, just a lot of jewelry. It's the dead rich person, probably. I mean, we do have the means of bringing them back. I don't know if they'd be able to help us with the labyrinth. I didn't really think about that. I would like to take, <laughs> I would like to take some jewelry. You want to give me a uh, perception check over there. Nat one. Nat one. You <laughs> pick up your first piece of jewelry, this huge diamond ring, and as you pick it up, it just kind of disintegrates in your hand and nothing. <laughs> 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 I feel like we should resurrect this. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. You know what? I want to steal all the jewelry. All right, let's get a perception over there. Another nat one. It's not a nat one. What was that you rolled that didn't even have your shit open? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nine. A nine? Didn't you roll nine? I got an eight. An eight? Uh, yeah, Oops. instead of jewelry, as you're digging through the body, you see a piece of paper tucked into his pocket. Hell yeah. Give me this paper. We're missing a guy. But it seems almost ripped off from a complete collection of papers. Mm -hmm. So now I know. This motherfucker's Sinbad. Here, who who's smart in our group? Oh, there it is. Uh, Ratma, Ratma, don't Ratma's read. Not here, right? Ratma, don't read. All right. Ratma, you, don't read. Ryan, can you send me my <coughs> power again? Yeah, it's in the group chat. I'm also oh, playing Ratma today. There's so today. much bullshit in the group chat. Scroll I can't back. Go to the pictures. No Sorry about pictures. Do you want to read it out loud? It, it never came out. In, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking Let him it. understand it first. And then explain it. Oh, 
Okay, wow, well, there's a lot going on here. Long. So, all right, so he runs his uh, entries by day. Day one, uh, he kind of just runs through that he <laughs> found here that the no, dungeon itself has massive. a magical light source. Magical light source, okay. So we won't really need anything to do there. It also makes it to where we can't tell time while we're inside there. Uh, he very directly calls that out. Uh, henceforth, we refer to my entries by the number of days I have spent in this maze. Day two, I set up a minor base camp in the starting area while I explore this maze. If others enter, they will start at the same point as me. Is this a waste of time to, to assume that this is the start of the maze? Hmm. So we have at least a, a rough outline of what he found as soon as he entered. Uh, looks like he had uh, mapped it out to where there is a uh, much larger path to the south and to the west, although I don't know if those are useful cardinal directions. And then uh, he did loop around. Uh, there's It's boxed around at the bottom there. Um, and he drew a picture of a horned creature at the bottom. Um, his self-assessment is that it's ugly. Uh, he said, there are creatures here that I've never seen roam the earth. Am I still in the world I knew? Have these creatures been here uh, trapped by the magic of this place? Yeah, it's a minotaur. It's a I mean, probably. He said labyrinth earlier, and that thing has horns and looks like a bull face. Probably. Yeah. It's a minotaur. Uh, Might be a duck. Can I Could be a, a duck. Minute? It's a oh, duck guitar. Yeah. It does definitely a duck. That's, okay. A duck guitar. That's got to be the ugliest duck I have ever seen. Man, never look in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to me? I said that you're a handsome lad. You better watch your ugly fucking duck mouth. <laughs> but I'm Wait. a cheetah. A cheetah duck. A duck that cheats. So I mean, a I'm non-faithful get, duck. Whoa. I, I, whoa, that's I mean that's a little bit of escalation there. I think that we should maybe uh, go and find the base camp that he set up and see if there's maybe any other notes there. I agree. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's how worthwhile. You guys feeling? Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, let's kind of check stock of what we have available to us. I see that there's water around us. Should do, do we, we have, do we have any empty? Do we know if it's like potable water? You take a perception check. I'll take a perception check. Ten. Ten? Looks like some flowing water. You can see to the bottom of it, at the very least. You're not sure where it comes from. There's no outlet or inlet. Damn, I wish Sorry, I had I'm one gonna, of those I'm feeling very harsh. I'm just going to take gonna... a handful and scoop it into my mouth and drink some. All right, well, I'll let him do that. I was going to do the all along. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hey, everybody. Hello. 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 You, you grab this water and scoop it in your mouth, and as it flows down your throat, you feel hydrated. Yes! Fantastic. That oh, is exactly what I was That's <laughs> exactly what I was Is, is this a for. mixer? Does anybody have any... I thought this was going to be booze. Um, People actually drink mixers? Or any, I, I, I had a dining yeah, pull up. I don't want to fill them up. up. Oh, yeah. I don't know oh, if I have oh, any. Oh, <laughs> so I have three flasks. I'm going to fill it up with water. Who the hell stabbed the shit out of this paper? Me. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been me. I have no idea, actually. It looks like it could just be a compression thing. Yeah, I have no flasks. So I gave all my flasks to everyone yeah, else. I mean, um, well, what was I looking at? Flasks. Yeah, if you have any empty flasks, you can fill them up with water. Like top right corner. I think I gave them to base camp. I don't either. Know. Either Ember yeah. or Sebastian, probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought. Yeah, I think I think like you said, it's worthwhile to go there and investigate, see if you left any journal entries, but also yeah. see if you left any provisions. Yeah, and maybe there's more jewels there also, that I can actually touch. This man is saying I mean, that you can't tell. Time you're more than welcome to them, but I don't see how jewels are going to really help day us. Two. Huh? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Does time operate Bats. the same way in here as it does Angle. elsewhere? Or are we just not able to tell the time? See, he said we. I can't tell what time it is or how much time has passed. Yet he has day two written <laughs> in his journal. What if he we, thinks I don't know. Time two. is going to be of any sort of import here. Like if we she's were. She's got. Up. She's got a potion list. So. And... She's like, I can't hear some nod papers. <laughs> 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 Will's got potions for you if you need any of them. Oh, she does have the character sheet. I you have that. I've potions. I've got the character sheet. It's just I. She says flask of oil, and then there's a three. So I'm assuming she's got three flasks of oil, but no, I don't see right. any empty flasks in her that thing. So I'm assuming she that she just does not. Yeah. And they're all filled. So all good. 
All good on that. Thanks, Ian. I mean, we did try to fill our class before we went to our last battle. Yeah. I didn't really use any of them. So. All right. Well, we have, we have variety. I think you're right. We should go investigate the base camp. Yes. Like Let's go. Well, we got to find it. Sorry. We got to find it. I've got Ember, all the ones. Ember was our MVP, but that, she doesn't get the ability to command this floor, does she? And she just got no, the potion list. No, that command is gone after floor two, and her MVP reward was mixing her cool. profession into her class. Cool. Cool. Uh, I guess, do we see any obvious entrances? Like, all like I see said, is... We've split it into a top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, for the sake of making the maps flow Well, better. unfortunately, Sinbad uh, didn't really give us a lot to go on. That looks like the top right corner. Is it does look like game. the top right. <laughs> I'm following that's, this man. It's an assumption, but yeah, let's let's. I'm following this man. This man seems to know map making and. Uh, well, it said which directions he went as well, what so we mean, can maybe man? figure out where did I the just paper follow go. Follow the way. I think he just called you a troll. Do you know the way? Uh, oh, Sean, beautiful. Uh, sorry, Sebastian has the map. So yeah, let's start in the top Looks right. Looks like top right to me. It yeah. Could be. I mean, that I mean, could let's, definitely let's go the top be. Right be and the see if we can match it. corner from it too, though. You know. Right. Do we find a base camp? All right, did anybody memorize that layout? <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Time to go rewatch the stream. All right. <laughs> oh, these, these are meta plays. Mm -hmm. Let's organize you guys a little bit. All right, guys. Is this the base camp? This is just the where you guys started. Damn, girl, this looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel spoiled. Looks okay, enormous. this is this is super duper cool. Oh man! All right, I love That's it. What you got so far? Where do we want to go? So two different entrances to go into the top right. Dude, if she's that good with Excel, she'd be a good marketing analyst or just a data analyst. I'm going to move one of you at a time, and we'll have the others catch up as we go. We should probably have our tank up at the front line. But then it wouldn't be fun. Fair. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, <laughs> judging by the marks he made on there, uh, I guess we should try and at least replicate a portion of the path he traveled. Again, it doesn't really have an entrance or exit point. I don't know if he started in the south and moved up, or started in the west and moved around. Is there anything We're going to trek our own path. Is there anything to loot? There's nothing on the ground that I can see. Uh, I, I guess... Also, Wonka, I don't think he texted me for something last time. After an exploration. Uh, I guess follow-up question as far as the, the dungeon itself. Is there like a layer of dust? Is it nicely cleaned? What no, are we looking it at? It looks spotless. The walls look like they're made of stone and they reach out to the ceiling that you can see of the dungeon. There doesn't appear to be any way over them. Uh, as far as you can see, it's just stone walls, uh, kind of tile ground. Yeah, so you um, either look like disturbed dust or anything What are like these that. little red... Of course not. They almost look like red pillars. Are they red pillars or... Are they uh, eggs on top? That's just, your that's just that's decoration. Decoration. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Um, so I kind of well, we don't can have. We can kind of see over there, but you know, we can't see in this direction, and it almost looks yeah. like there might be like a hall if wow. we go further yeah. forward. Yeah, I'm gonna just start yeah. walking up that direction. So let's go to the northeast. I, I'm, I'm inventor for the group. Yeah. I have to I have just gonna start air dragging air you along and we'll have for unlooted areas. Like I said, as you pass stuff, you'll be able to see it and explore when I see it. Okay. Oh. All right. As you loot the corner, you see. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. You see the boys. You see a new color on the ground. Blurple. What would you describe this territory as? It looks like as if the area around you is toxic. Oh. Poison. Blurple. So there's a poison <laughs> gas. Blurple. All right. So it looks dangerous on its own accord. Uh, I'm gonna it's like. Not naturally just... dangerous for you to just walk in, but you have it's an eerily, obviously poisonous area, and you're like. Mm. You're not going to take damage, but... But it indicates what could be going on there. Yeah. It's emanating. Emanating from the floorboards. All right, I'm going to just take and scratch uh, the wall right there. I'm going to okay. just mark where the, the territory pieces end and begin. Got some bait uh, over? 
You scratch the wall, and it appears to make a mark. On Bless it. you. All right. Um, again, we don't really have a means of ta- uh, Do marking want- time at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna count to a hundred slowly in my head. I want to see if this dungeon, by its own accord, is resistant to being marked or otherwise giving path markers. All right. Uh, as you count to a hundred. Uh, you get to about 20 seconds in, and you see the mark on the wall just fades away completely and is replaced by nothing in its way. So yeah, we're probably going to want to draw our own map. Smart move, man. I didn't think anyone would think of that. What I'm do you mean, not sucks a cartographer. To... Huh? I'm not a cartographer. Well, you, you said it sucks to suck. It's like, I didn't suck. I was like, all right, this feels like something that would definitely be a thing <coughs> All right, so I guess knowing now that the... the Dungeon is not entirely impervious to marking. You can mark it, but it just doesn't last long. I'm going to walk backwards and I guess start cataloging the area. All right. You want to walk back to where you were? Yeah. And since he said he didn't feel like he had a perception of time, maybe we should create something to figure out how long we've been in. I was going to say, uh, earlier, that's actually like a great idea. Putting but a I piece have of no food, idea putting like that. a piece of food down on the ground or something that could actually go rancid or something. So over time, it would. Oh, that's a good be idea. A like how much time has lapsed? Yeah, like a so molding bread. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long it takes for well, molding bread. So the like, hey, this is messy. And just soaks it up. <laughs> oh, whoops. So, does anybody have anything? Like, maybe... Like, berries go bad pretty quickly, right? Or, within like... Within reason, yeah. Within reason. All right, so this center area, is that actually part of the whole map? Yeah. Uh, am I con- absolutely convinced that there's nothing farther to the left of us? If you want to go left, we can pull up a uh, top left, top bottom left. Yeah. Gotcha. So there is more territory there. So at the beginning of this level, we all have like a long rest. Right? Well, I mean, we could just do the math right there. He's trying to count <coughs> seconds up to a hundred, and after twenty seconds, that so we just it have somebody. Time moves five times faster. We could have long. Ratma just start counting, and like that's Ratma's task. Because he's not currently here, well, no, so he's just he's just, the the he's just counting the time in his with his with his fingers. Mm-hmm. I didn't count up to a hundred in twenty seconds. Give the rat a job of keeping I track of time. <laughs> he's yeah, you were going the rat to count rat must keeping you, track of time oh, with yeah, his fingers. Right, right, right. <laughs> Never mind. Going up by ten seconds you every know, time. I'm able to turn into a rat now, and a combination of rats and other things, so maybe I can convince rat mind of God. I mean, he he has decent intelligence. He doesn't have wisdom, though, which is a partial prerequisite. So, <laughs> mm, sorry. He's smart enough to know he's being fun. tricked, but not wise enough to realize that it matters sometimes. Sometimes. Mm. Uh, all right, so there's the divot out there. Um, let's, uh, I, I, do you guys want to, like, just march around the confines of this room to get an idea of its shape to see what paths we have? Yeah, should we do it in, like... I mean, I don't really see any monsters yet. Maybe we could split up into, like, teams and, like, go four corners. Because he was only one person. Like, we've got a bigger group. Not that I want to separate. But, like, we could make a... Do we have, like, a horn? (laughs) Beep, beep. What? Amber, you never split the group up anymore. It's never gone well to, for you're, us up till yeah, this point. Yeah, no, we, I think right. we've yeah, actually been well, on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> well, not like to engage or anything, but I wasn't right. planning on right. engaging. PTSD from the first level. Of you're right. <laughs> Splitting up is bad. Of me being knocked down every other turn and almost dying. And me but not like going life? too far. I was. Yeah, you not saving my life. Like that. Like I you did. went up to the you purple. Were, and you were like, oh, there's purple. Yes, but then at the end of that, you were dying on the ground. I got you. We used him as a meat shield. <laughs> After did, looting and everything. And he survived. After looting. Because we have priorities. All right, so I we're sticking to together sure then. Supplies. Ratma's <laughs> counting time. Do a quick loop around this room? Yeah, I just want to see what paths. See what sort of colors have. maybe at least st- like show at each corner so we might have an idea where we want to start. Because a poison we're gonna arrow might not other, be a... other colors besides blurple? Uh, other colors besides blurple. 
Okay. All right, so I took you around the room a little bit, just so you can see. Because I feel like poison might not be a great area to start. We might be able to find something that will help us with poison in Could another area, Could you move area, it perhaps? more towards the center for us? Apparently no. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's all right. It doesn't feel so like moving. So this is the top right, right, but there's more stuff to the Little side. down. I just didn't want that preview token thing to hit it. Fair. Nice. Okay. I'll check out the bottom right. Yeah, we better. Just to All see right. if it's a more it's hospitable it, so. area. This one's going to be lava. Every so dungeon fast. has a snow level, a fire level, uh, like a poison level. Some of my new transformations lava. are going to come in handy then. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so I can turn into a bear spider and that lets me walk on ceilings. That's terrifying. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so here are, here are the combinations I've come up with so far. Right, Brown so bear ape, bottom, right? bear spider, ape spider, ape weasel, ape duck, and bear duck. Okay. And those Let's give me an, oh, the there's best a combination bit of green. Of powers. You guys. Oh, there's some uh, so potential should, forest land. Maybe we should investigate green and see a perception on that. Gotcha. So this is a different segment of the dungeon entirely? Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to... Th there are connections to each one, but they're mostly split up between bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right. Okay. <coughs> I mean, it seems warm and welcoming. I'm down to walk over there. There's definitely not going to be anything that's trying to murder us and something so pretty looking, right? Well, I mean, you lots never know. Of dangerous things there could be some butterflies. Hey, hey, wait. I think so. A good idea. I just let's just keep in mind. Last level, we followed the idea of the fable in order to pass the level. The key to passing the labyrinth. Put one of your hands on the wall and just continue. No, walking. no, it's a string. You'll get lost if you put one of your hands on the wall because it shifts around. You mm. need to have a string. We need to have some way that we trace our way back to this camp. So you want to go in the forest and then just chop it down and turn it into string? Well, I'm kind well, of thinking. I mean, that's like, not too bad. If we have, we could use our I have guards knives clothes. and stuff we like could, that, and we just could attempt to unravel the, it. Can I attempt tree, to unravel you know? the, the guards clothes that I have into a long string? Sure, try it. Do I get any bonus on that, or is it just straight roll? Let's do. Let's add dex to it. All right. Um, no bonus there, so fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, you managed to unravel about a hundred feet of this. That's not very much. Stuff into string. Oh man. All right. Well, now I have a hundred feet of string. It's, yeah, that's all better than we had. We had zero it feet is? of string prior to that. Yeah, that's true. You can never have enough string. Now, were you going to go walk I give you my area? set of guards clothes. Start All right, I want to, he gave me his set of guards clothes. I want to attempt to unravel those. 19. 19. Let's, let's give you 150 this time. All right, so we have 250 feet of string. Do we have any other clothes we can break down, guys? I can get naked. Uh, <laughs> Let's all get naked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are already crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's danger time. Uh, you have no I, idea how much time has passed. I, I am not going to disrobe, so no, I don't have any guards clothes to give you. No, I Same. still have my other clothes on. Wait, I do have a bed roll, I think. Someone picked up like a bed roll at one point oh, yeah, when they were that playing was, me. That was me. I have a rat pelt, isn't that Just her? in case you wanted a blanket while you are sleeping. Probably not going to be pillow. very much pelt, though, because it was probably a normal-sized rat that it came from. No, it was absolutely Let's a normal-sized rat. Let's get a perception rat. check from Ember. Or, yeah, give me a medicine check, Ember. A medicine check? Medicine check. Oh, that wasn't good. Are we a three. A Do three? I add anything to it? Oh, no. No, I don't. You have no input to the group. <laughs> <laughs> Is that dead rat just carrying the plague with us? Do we all have the plague? If, yeah, if a rat was carrying a plague, I think why, we're a cat. Why are you <laughs> talking bad about rat? 
I'm not saying anything Grandma bad about it. Grandma not like Cheetah Man. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Talk bad about rat. I asked a simple question. I wasn't talking any shit. Rat dog no like Cheetah Duck? <laughs> <laughs> rat. I'm going to go up to the edge duck. of the new territory. I'm gonna you want to go, go, go to the grass one? Yeah, well, let's go examine okay. it. Yeah, Frog. I'd like to examine it. What did you just you call me? Have to, uh, have to try to work between both of them. Uh, and duck and Frog! Stuff. Let's just go. We're about to enter That's our first way. skirmish, and there's no NPCs here. You need to get your eyes checked. Mr. You need to get your eyes checked. Rat my rat. Duck rat. Okay. Rat my rat. Rat duck. So my that's actually kind of helpful then. Then it means that it's also the that is my name. measure of that's the That's the corner. name of the duck that is before you. Sorry, I'm trying to make it so you guys don't see too much. It's still an enormous Boop. amount of area. So from... Him making us do that perception check. I'm assuming that there is some sort of potion that we have access to that would allow us to make a simulated string that would accomplish the same thing. It's the glowing footsteps one. We need to use the glowing footsteps potion. It could be pretty helpful. I'm glad someone found a use for that potion. <laughs> here. That was kind of what I was hinting at there, but she will take that out. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but like... We no, that's actually a pretty good idea. That is a great idea. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's One for Jay. You finally got a good idea. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the most movement speed? Uh, anyone but me. <laughs> I, I turned into a statue. Oh, some hang on. Time. I can turn into shit. That gives me a crazy movement speed. And That's would, something that never got filled out on my sheet. By how the would DM. movement speed help you here? I would, I would presume because if you you're can, able to move further while you have the glowing feet, we're able to trek more of a distance and so less you time to have more behind us. Away from the group further. No, if we needed to, like, have well, potentially, if they had to go forward to scout. You guys do. Well, we, we all already we agreed that the dungeon can move around, can, so let's not separate. That sounds like a terrible idea. Scout. Yeah. Just putting that out there. If, yeah, if we I all agreed that it can separate. shift, then at some point in time you could go far enough ahead that the wall just separates us, yeah. and now you're dead. Now you're dead. Or at least not in Sounds a like a glorious way to die. Crushed by a wall? I can think of lots better no. ones. <laughs> crushed the group going out, a hero's death. Okay, so we're <laughs> all... Interested in going towards the green? Well, first we're going to make this glowing footstep potion. You're the potion so, master. Oh. This is kind of outside character knowledge, but the zones indicate different portions of the labyrinth. Mm -hmm. So the green is now the bottom okay. left, I believe he said. Sure. Okay. So that's where we're at now. But I think we should start here. It seems like these are more the things that we're knowledgeable about. There's regular creatures, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to do better against them. All right. That just makes more sense to me, if that makes sense to you guys. That works for me. Oh, there it is. Glowing green potion. Uses leave, right now leaves I'm glowing footprints. All right, so we need a flask of water. Might be the best thing for me to turn Flask of water. Glowing mushroom. A ghost orchid seed. Does anybody have those? Uh, Sean is Sean the master. Sean's of those. the master, mastermind of yeah. all that. Sean has them. Sean is oh, okay. the Potion <laughs> ingredient person, important. and you are the recipe right, no. person. Okay, uh, awesome. We only it. have one glowing mushroom. Well, you just got another one. Okay. You sent Sweet. me a huge list, bro. <laughs> you sent me a huge list? You sent me a huge list. Like, you got one. I just typed it out. Okay. Sean, so I have four of them. You have four glowing mushrooms? Yeah. You want them? We'll need them yes. at some point. Okay, should I should I? Should well, we I, should just add them to the master list. Yeah, yeah. I was, so I was, if you cross I was, them off yours, and you'll add them. I was this. just about to say that I just couldn't get it out of my mouth. Okay, so six. That's why I went. Ugh. Is there Something any water around us? Yeah. Um. We we have, yeah. Should we go back to the three. top of the island? <laughs> He's yeah, got three, I have three flasks. Of them. I just erased them, Sean. So. Okay. Are you gonna take my three flasks of water? Is ghost orchid different from ghost orchid seed? Yes. The orchids, the can actual we, flower. And can the we process seeds. the flower to get seeds? They're different ingredients. Boo. But I guess if you want to, you can give it a go. A nice roll. Maybe you'll find some seeds. In can the I get some ghost orchid seeds, too? He rolled good enough, I saw. I gotta look at the list one more time, too, though. Because I don't think I have any of it. 
Yeah, you have nothing to go on there. You can have one of those. Yeah, I see that. He's doing a lot of writing over there. All right, Joe. You should be bored. You have a flask of water. Mm-hmm. Now I give it to you. All right. A glowing mushroom and a ghost orchid seed. Can I get everyone's survival stat real quick? Mine is a two. Mine is a three, but it's going to, like, switch around, I'm pretty sure, as I transform into shit. Mm, maybe. Yeah, mine's also just a two. Where is that? The very last one in your skills list. Ah. Zero. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. It says zero. Okay. It's Ratma. a whiz based skill, so... Yeah. Ratma's negative All of my one. wisdoms are zeros. Sebastian's one. Based off the evidence that we've been given, yeah. I would have assumed that Sorry. fucking frog survival. man would have had the negative What's your one. survival rating? No, I have wisdom. Just the, just the number itself. But just from the scenarios you've gotten yourself into. Two. The evidence we've been given. You just can't understand my wisdom. You're a simple cheater. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. Both. Oh god, now my brain's kind of twisted. Is there a limit to this glowing green potion of how many footprints it can leave or how long it lasts? It seemed to last for a pretty long time. It lasted for like an hour. Or I told somebody something. Well, Well, on her sheet, it just says leaves glowing footprints. Yeah, uh, 15 minutes, I'm pretty sure. 15 minutes? Yeah, let me double check, but I believe it's 15 minutes. So you leave footprints for 15 minutes, and they last for 15 minutes, or you leave fif- footprints for 15 minutes? So you leave footprints for 15 minutes, and then when the potion wears off, the footprints will all disappear. So we have seven and a half minutes to haul ass out as a group, and then backtrack and map out whatever we get to cover. Not gonna work. We're gonna run into an enemy before then. Yeah, and it's gonna eat away so, the time. I, I, I think we just wasted all this time on a glowing mushroom potion. No, but, but you know what? We can use it in the future. It's all right. So you could also make two of them. Oh yeah, we do have the ability to make more. No, we don't. We don't have another ghost circuit seed. Oh, true. Or we have the string too. Well, well, I'm down well we can still use it in the future. Yeah. Oh, roll a d6 times 10 minutes. Yes! So it'll be up to an hour. If you're lucky, or as little as 10 minutes. I'll do it. Oh, you'll do it? Cool. I can move this. Yeah! An hour. An hour. All right. How yizzle. DM, you decide how long that hour is. So yeah. we'll let it for an hour. And also, does time operate the same way? So is it really going to be an hour? And keep in mind, Ratma is counting the entire time so we can relatively keep track. Yes. So this is a good potion that lasts an hour, and it really only lasts 20 minutes. We could safely assume time moves three times faster, or yada yada. Or Ratma's not very good at counting. They're well, actually, that. no, well, no. he's very, he's got good wisdom. No, well, also, he's very oh, rhythmic. He, he's locked in oh, with yeah. the no, rhythm. Oh, yeah, no, he's got a cadence he can count. Yeah, from. one. He's got his drum that he can beat to. He just has to play 60 BPM. Yes. <laughs> yeah. For an hour. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's not actually that bad. Right? Just like a nice little... Left foot, right foot. Like left foot, left right foot. <laughs> <laughs> not while I'm drinking. <laughs> All right, so are we down to... Ooh. Yeah, let's down to explore this section. Yandy, dos, yandy, All right. Dos, Get so what do we think yes. is gonna like be in this section so I can transform into the right Wait, thing. before we leave, what is that blue door looking thing? That's just where you guys came That's where we came well, out. Actually, I, know, I have the ability next to change to it then. Um, when we roll instantaneously. Oh, okay. Yeah. My hope just is, making sure. My hope is based on like, uh, based on general <laughs> observation, this is like an area with normal creatures, so Hopefully anything should fly. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, uh, the two things that I can do for like traversing that are kind of new 
are, uh, well, obviously you can still fly, but the spider um, transformation lets me climb on, hard to climb on surfaces such as ceilings and stuff like that. That could so, be pretty sick, yeah. yeah. That is kind of fun. He's a skinwalker. Oh. Get ready for the ape worse. spider. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, I do see I a, a picture sliver of, that as of like something just green over there. Did you get inspiration there. for that from One Piece? No. Is, isn't it? It's a monkey spider, I think, when they're on Thriller Bark, when they meet uh, Gekka Moria. I've never Moria. seen One Piece. You're close to the Thriller Bark. I just watched it. There's a monkey spider. But I don't remember much about it. All right. Does that mean I um, an inspiration point for anime? I think so. I hate when that happens. Yeah, you said you wanted to go to the glass area and just based off what I said, there's just four checking areas. for time. You guys are going. The bottom left corner is the grass area. Okay, so we're in the bottom left area. That means that so we should like be able you to. Have about a couple entrances here. Yeah, it looks like there's an, a sliver there, sliver there. So I kind of want to go this way. If if you Fuck guys it, we've all want to travel down, that way. Yeah, I'm down for that. I. It I'm looks like there might be more pathways. Yeah. I'm following. I'm I'm the third person in the group right now. That's where I'm locked in. Marching two back. Who's in front of me? Who are the two people in front of me? I'm assuming well, we're I'll gonna go, have Rivera in, in the front. Yeah, use use that nice AC yeah. they gave me. Put no, Ratma in the middle. So right. Ratma's right behind me. Where am I going? Who's behind um, <laughs> Rivera? Drake, I'll I feel go. like you always play aggressively. Okay. I could. Well, I have a long arrow. You're a range person, so, well, yeah, so since you have the arrow, you can stay for the back. back, And you can shoot Um, with a longbow up to, like, 240 feet or something like that? Yeah, I don't think it's ever going to come up, but you should, yeah, Yeah. as long as you can see it on the map, you can pretty much hit it with a longbow. Oh, Oh boy. (laughs) We're going to die. Okay, where am I? Of old age, apparently. I think you are so, right. All right, so Ram was behind me. Yep. Uh, behind Annie, sorry, Annie slash Emba. Uh, the character has chosen. You want. I guess and that would be West. You is Simba and West. Am I going this yes. Way? Yes. Right. Like I said, okay. imagine you guys are all yep. coming together. It'll be easy to do it this way, and I'll catch everybody I got. All right, you want to go down or up? So who's leading the pack? Roll a die. So, yeah. Oh, you know One what? through three, the current down, order is four through six, up. Rivera, Ango, South. me, South, all right. um, We're working our way through Sean these. and Brando, and then... Uh, That's a different type of Umber, flooring as well. Yes, it is. I like think it's cobblestone just, or something. So you're yeah. in the back. I think that's probably just a wall. Yeah, I think that's just a wall. Oh. Oh. I have range attacks, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it is not. Oh, boy. All right, so do we want to go through the cobblestone, or do we want to go into the... I'm just going to throw the... this one out there. We're going down, okay? We're going south. Like I said, well, I try to separate it into four corners of the ladder. Oh, it's cool. Okay, no, totally okay. cool. So just for this one, I'm giving you guys your gun. Yeah, so we're going south. Can we do a trap perception? All right, we've got two you ways. We can go down or we could go in. Oh, hang on. My different transformations, some of them have really high passive perception. Are all of us getting perception? 17. Oh, okay. I'm assuming like the owl or whatever. Do you see anything around that? Nope. No traps so far. All right, which way you want to go? Not noticing anything. Yeah, well, funny, you? well. Funny. Does someone else want to take the? All right, you gotta roll higher than the seventeen. No, oh, I'm saying which what direction no. do you want to go? All right, so high or low, left or right? Uh, low, left, high, right. Okay. High, we're going right. Right. All right. As you loop around this corner, you see a piece of paper on the ground once again, looking just like the first, ripped off from another page. What day does it have on it? Day six. I spent several days trapped in a pit. I'm not sure if the creatures here set these traps or if it's all a part of the grand design of this place's plan to keep something hidden. I've returned to my base camp. 
but another problem has risen. I'm starving. I must hunt these creatures and make my way further into the labyrinth. If I don't, I will surely die. So Day eight, I finally, spelled with one L, killed one of those big fuckers. <laughs> the meat tastes awful, but at this point, beggars can't be choosers. Day 12, I found a creature similar to the others I've seen here, except for its size. The creature is double my height at least, and, spelled with a B and a D, wielded an axe big enough to slice me in two. Microsoft Word didn't catch him, I guess. I was typing fast. <laughs> <laughs> As I tracked the creature in the shadows, I saw something. An object hanging on the monster's waist pulled my gaze. Why am I so drawn to it? And then there's a shoddily drawn picture of a crystal with the words, <laughs> I want. Day 15. I can't stop thinking about the object. I couldn't even make out what it was, but one thing I'm sure of, I need it. It's, it's, my, my precious. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, so that didn't say that, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Who else sold on this? I'll take that. I'll take a look. All right, so we know that he didn't start in this area, but we can still keep pressing forward. So maybe that's the magical item that he thought was around, or the magical presence from the first one. What if Maybe. it's my painting that I've been looking for? <laughs> You've been looking for a painting? My magical painting, the one that brought me back to flashbacks to a war I've never been a part of. <laughs> it's all my character backstory, DM, come on. Get your head a terrible backstory. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the episode that Ango originally... I'm aware. It's still a bad backstory. Come up with your own. <laughs> I <laughs> stole it off of Frank uh, Reynolds. Who? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking who, about. Who, what, Reynolds, where, when, and why? Oh. Okay. Dongo. <laughs> um, so. Dongo Duck Logan. We continue? Simba, pop quiz, what's going what, on right what now? If, uh, we're trying to make it to the maze. Dude, you Pretty can't argue it. with that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I looked over and he was just. Not a whole lot's been happening. We've just been walking. <laughs> All right, let's keep so, going. So, yeah, I guess if that's all that was in there, like, moving down, is it a dead end? Let's find out. Oh, there is a around the corner. big... Let's roll for initiative. Woohoo! Frickin' guy. Oh! What the hell is this thing? Let's, uh... I would like Ooh. to, as I'm rolling my initiative, turn into... Hang on. All right, I'm gonna... Oh, uh, 17. I got a seven. Oh. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Since I can now use my wisdom. Six. Six. Hey man, as a healer, you'd like to go 17? last anyway. See what happens Grandma? before you throw your load in. Oh, I, should, I, should I figure forgot. out what I his initiative is. I looked at you and we were both like, oh yeah. His initiative looks like two, so seven. Seven. Sebastian. Where's your twenty. And frogman. Seven, and I am going to turn into a brown bear spider. All right. How many transformations do you get a day? Three. Cool. Oh, I got a 16. And it looks like a duck, too. DM. Because that's you want me to re-roll for I got a 16. 16? I didn't realize. Why do you need to re-roll for Ramma? Oh, yeah, Ramma and Frogman are nine. Oh. He got a three. Frogman can have Eleven. Thought. Um, you said you had 16 instead of 17? Yes. Right, I didn't okay. minus my initiative. Um, Rivera, you are going to be starting now, so give me a second to get everybody down and then everyone over. Hold on, I got a net 20. My initiative was 21. That means right, that you and re-roll nat 20s no, don't matter on initiative. Shit, no. initiative. 11 on the die. Fuck you. I got 20. Alright, so you're going first. My bad. I'm going first. I'm the best. He's the best. He's the very best. No. It's a big, big boy, a minotaur. Libertar. Is that a minotaur? What the hell is this thing? I don't know. Can I'm we get a perception on what we see here? I'm betting it's a minotaur. I got an 18. Well, when he catches all of us up. Not gonna lie, this drawing of the space kind of looks like Hunleth. Who, who won between uh, Ratma and Frogman? Frogman. Frogman. Alright, let me hold up here. I'm gonna undo it just to get you guys over here. Ignore everything. 
We can't see nothing. I'm just gonna pull you off straight down and just get you right in front of him. Just fuck it. Just fuck it, we ball. Boom. Or we I'm ball. Gonna build, trade around some places because I know how it would be. I'd like to assess what the creature is when I rolled an 18. Mm -hmm. No, you're fine. You can look. No, look. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, we like, know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just messing with you. All right. I'm just fucking with you. I don't know that he had the thing on the Zoom screen. for you. This is. I'm just trying not to look at it. Is it back to normal? Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. That's say, a big boy. You would say he's at least double Rivera's height. That's a big boy. Yeah, I think Man, we the found the one the that he this found on day 12. Yeah, we're good. Holy Toledo. Yeah, uh, Sebastian, you're first. He looks pretty tough. Oh, man, i got to figure out how to attack on this guy again. Um, yeah, you have a really convoluted, albeit very powerful passive that you just got. So when I'm trying to tell ChatGPT to generate an image of a spider bear frog, it's, it's not it's not doing it. <laughs> it's breaking it. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, is it just the stuff Because even, even ChatGPT knows that's ridiculous. It Come on now. On there. It's, what, it's what you guys see right now, and that animal is claiming that it's a duck. Well, first uh, maybe make it a bear spider, and then add duck on top of it. Uh, I have a poison dagger. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run up and try and stab him with that poison dagger. All right, let's try it. You're gonna straight up in this fucking thing's face. Yeah, that <laughs> axe yeah. looks like it's bigger than all It'll of us. It'll slice you in half. <laughs> let's just say the damage on this thing. Most of you will die in one shot. Yay! <laughs> oh, did we? We did not roll for more hit points, did we? For more, oh, you're right. We did not. Yeah. Let's get that out of the way real quick. Yeah. Request. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. Um, I believe you have more than everyone else that you get to roll for. Uh, yeah, you said I could roll a d12. And so then just... everyone else will just roll a d8 and... and add it to their health. Their main health. Boom. Are you listening, Simba? Yeah, I am. Well, then roll a d8. <laughs> Make sure it's not <laughs> the right <laughs> one. Four. He was right, listening. I thought it was. I thought it was just him getting more health, Is not me. Every all of us. No, all of us leveled up when we went to a new floor. Get a whopping two. It's my first bad roll. Help. And we're not getting any additional like actual uh, stat modifiers, are we? Someone say something in chat. Can you turn uh, I don't off see the anything. Make him the combined stat sheet for my uh, I just roll spider now. bear. Since it's floor three, and if we're planning on this being our final floor, are we also going to possibly be able to get a plus two to yeah, put into our stat sheet? No, no, I didn't roll. I just set it down. Who knows? You go ahead and roll it. Can I roll it? Yeah. What? We'll see what happens. Okay. Seven. seven. Oh, it's a seven? Nice. Yeah. I thought it was a one. Oh, that would have been sad. <laughs> so, yeah, you have 15 health now. You almost doubled it. Over to Sebastian. Are you doing right, Mustard? Oh. So it's your total health pool no. sitting at now, Rivera? Uh, oh, uh, I guess I could. Ooh, yeah, you're a baby boy. As long as it's over like a two, you just give it to him. It's a four. Eh, that's good enough. You probably would have rolled worse, let's be honest. Out of way. That's fine. I got a plus four. Oh, man. Oh, that's one thick-ass baby thing. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, you, know, you roll a four, so it's going to be 20 total. Wait, how'd you get the plus one? Uh, her stat, she, she has a plus oh, one. Yes, add you your constitution modifier. Fuck yeah. yeah. So you would erase that and turn it. Ooh, I have two my constitution modifier, so I'm at 21. 16, 20. you say. 16 does hit him. With my poison bag. Yeah, I don't know the stats on that. That was a... I was just saying, hopefully nobody gets hit. Oh, it'd be your normal dagger. Or no, it was... I gave you a poison bag. It was a D4 instead of a D6, but it was poison. I'm paying attention, but... Is that D4 damage every turn for so long? If he gets poisoned. How does that happen? I guess we'll find out. It was an NSP. You're going to find out today. It's a D4. What's up, Taz? Just four damage? What What do I add to it? I'm proficient in it, so that's six. Alright. And then with my other dagger, I attack. Ooh, 21. 21. That is a hit. Oh, yeah. Not for much. Three. Three. Alright. 
Uh, as you stack the poison bag onto him, it does not appear to absorb the poison in the Minotaur, and he is not poisoned. This guy cannot be poisoned, guys. All right, with that, let's move on to our next player, which is Rivera. I'm going to retort back. It does appear that he can be stabbed just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like it did shit to him. Oh, man. I that's gonna be a, that's only going to be a 12. I'm presuming that it does not hit. That does not hit. Are you sure that stabbing works? Can confirm. He's twice your size, you still can't hit him, huh? I got distracted. <laughs> I'm feeling sure vertigo. By the, by the low hanging fruit. <laughs> by the low hanging fruit. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 9 plus 4. Uh, 13? 13. Miss. Rough. That's rough, buddy. All right. All right. Let's whoop, go whoop. to Ango. Do you think it'd be worth it to pr- use my dogger yet, or should I hold on? Uh, let's see uh, what happens after he attacks. My dog has the potential to, to fear him. You only use it once a day. That's this is a large creature. One, though. You could get a better dog this time. Yeah, you could. Could. I'm going to try it out. Yeah. You know what might help if you get the five subs. I feel like that was... <laughs> <laughs> you might give me an inspiration. Unfortunately, I don't have a boot, nor do I have some Guinness Nitro. Otherwise, it might have been a Get this man a beer quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the sound of, is the sound of whiskey <laughs> over there? And it's right smack. on the fucking Simba. <laughs> you just got right. smashed. <laughs> I'm going to throw my dogger at him. What, am I, I'm assuming I'm within 20 feet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to throw my dogger at him. The Labyrinth is pretty fucking big. You are. And that is exactly going to be a... So that's going to be a 19. That is a hit. All right. So I'm going to roll... Do you want me to roll damage or my dogger effect I'll first? I'll damage first. Okay. Damage is going to be a five. Five, all right. And a six. We're getting a dire wolf, boys. All right, your yeah. dire wolf is coming in. Woo! Coming in. Is that the best one? Yes, it is. Oh, cool. That's the biggest one of the So now I have to look up. So now that I've wolf. seen the dire wolf, can I turn into a dire wolf? That's not how it works. <laughs> That's so little. Could Jay turn into my snake? Oh, ooh, this wolf actually looks <laughs> real nice. All right, monsters. we're gonna mess that shit up. Oh. All right, I guess I'm going to lob another dagger at oh, this boy. man. It's my boy. It's Poppins. He looks a little different than the last time. A little shaggy. Mm-hmm. That dog is invincible. <laughs> that dog will never die. He'll come back. He always comes back. Does the dire wolf still look like Poppins? No. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to throw my other dagger at him. A shockingly huge pug. Of yeah, that's, that's going to hit. <laughs> what is it? That's a 22. 22, alright. And then... 7 damage. 7 damage, alright. And now my dire wolf gets plus 5 to attack on any creature as long as it has an ally within 5 feet of it. So yeah, I'm in it. So, and the ally isn't capac- incapacitated, so that's also important. It is currently right, true. So for his melees, oh shit. Okay, I'm assuming it's pretty beefy, but yeah, I'm gonna have my dire wolf try to attack this man. Oh yeah, it's hitting. It's hitting him. And then nineteen on the die. So that oh, means that'd be a twenty nine. For what? To to just a hit. All right. But um, on target, it's 2d6 plus 3 piercing. And also, you need to make a DC 13 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Yeah, no, he's good. Okay, cool. I'm assuming he's pretty strong, but. Oh, yeah. D, it's D6. Six. Yeah. Two of them, I thought you said. You just rolled to see if he got an at one on it. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be se- another so seven damage. Kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a another seven damage. Seven damage. All right. Oh boy. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. I break way too hard. Every time I put my pants down, my leg breaks. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> All right. After Ango, we got Ember. All right, 
I think I'm going to throw a fire arrow at him since he can't be poisoned. Yeah, we can at least light him on fire. So, I mean, he's pretty sure. furry, so he might light on fire. He can't be poisoned, huh? Can, we, uh, yeah, when you try to stab him with a poison dagger, the poison I got an 11. Him. Right. An 11, that oh, wait, do I add anything to it? Yes, you do. What do I add to it? Just uh, your attack. No, you're going to roll, add uh, four total. Dex There's something on, I don't. Dex is negative, I believe. Yeah. I thought, she, I, thought she, I thought we doubled, one D6. I thought we doubled the yeah. proficiency for her on range. It says it decks. rolls an it's extra 1d6. You'd have to go through her sheets, I don't know. I, don't um, know. I know it's at least 4. Uh, it's probably 4. Oh, I did get a 4. So it'd be 15. 15? That's a hit. Oh shit, this thing probably has a 14 AC. Cool. Uh, this, yeah, I'm All assuming right. it's going to make us bleed. But. So it's a D6 on initial damage. So you're going to add, you roll a D6, that's going to be the additional damage that you roll for your fire. fire. So four fire damage. So that's four fire damage, and you also need your initial hit. So which is the D8, no, which one, is the pointy one. One D... It says one what D10. What is a long one? Uh, for the fire damage? When... When this arrow makes contact, it deals an extra 1d10 fire damage and catches fire. Okay, every so ignore one. that d6 you rolled. Yeah. Oh. That, do, that doesn't... That's every not used for anything. Every turn yeah, Julie, it's on fire, need. it takes an extra d6 Roll these fire two. damage. Both of them? Yep. 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 All right. Sorry. No, you're it's good. It's all good. All right. I've got a 6 and six I've got a 40. That's only four. Okay. Oh, yeah. just so kidding. That's 10 a damage. four. It's like, Jesus Christ, I don't think I gave you those points. <laughs> oh so it's 10 damage, and he's also going to take fire damage every single turn. Okay. Is he? Yes. Yep. yep. Do we know that? He should. Well, I just hit him. Should he? <laughs> will he? Theoretically. He will. He will. That, we're moving on to our big bad's turn. Woohoo! He is going to target every He's going for Rivera. Oh shit. First. It's not bad. We're hoping. You're the biggest one. But did he, he catch on fire? Threat. Did he catch on fire? I'm did pretty sure. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> wow. He's gonna completely mess you. <laughs> Next one. Don't sub it yet. <laughs> so he swings his great axe at you, completely missing you. Then he's going to try to ram you with his horns. That's a nat 20. And launches you across the fucking room. He is going to hit you for 26 damage. You have one health, health point left? Three. You, three. Can you, then can he's you going to yeah, turn. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, cool. Put out his hand as he kind of waves it around the room at all of you. Stopping on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven, eight. One, two, three, and then a dire roll. Yeah. And a dire roll. All right, yeah, we'll do a D8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sebastian, he waves his hand <laughs> at you suddenly. Sebastian is not in your group anymore. He is what? gone. What? Fuck yeah. Sebastian, Let's you go, find baby. yourself in a secluded room that looks like the maze with no exits in it. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Bubba's for you. You know, All right, sorry, I've accepted yeah. this. You got your licks in. It's okay. Yeah, hey, you no, guys, at least it wasn't a rat I, I, I immediately use my invisibility. Uh, what's I don't, actually, I don't. I'm not invisible in this maze. Uh, heal me, because... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I know that. Like, like I said, how it's just a closed off square room that looks like a maze, but there's no access in Okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't mind doing that. I'm just saying, like... Frogman? Poor guy. He's All right. So let's see. I, yeah, I know. We'll, we're split up. I would like to climb onto the, like, I'm just going to walk around onto the ceiling and approach the, the, the Minotaur. Okay. So you're just going to ceiling climb and just, like, bear paw at him? Just put your right here, I guess. That, uh, that works. All mm -hmm. right. And then I'm going to use my multi attack, um, which has plus five to hit on both of these, but I'm going to start with the bite. Is it an advantage because he's attacking from above? No, the Minotaur can see him coming. The Minotaur is the master of the maze. He sees it. All right, that's a mess. So we started at the wrong part of the maze, guys. All Damn. Right. Damn. Chance. 19. So this is the boss? 19 that hits. Huh? All this right. This is the final guy? So that's 2d6 he's plus 4 slash damage. All right, I'm just going to go all out on him. All right, so that's 6 plus 4. He's twice the size of a Rivera. You should be going all out on him anyway. Right? Oh, yeah. Master, no. We might die. or not. We, he's going to kill us all. I'm already gone. 
I'm in a square box with a maze. Fair. And fair. I'm invisible. I need to pick Hoping him. that he can't see me when he comes. Did you order food or something? I did. I ordered a chicken chop. Oh, gosh. All right, so. Was it freaky fast? No. It was, I got a notification when I was placing the order. It says high wait time. Sue them. Uh, <laughs> I'm going dead last. I got to wait. Program? No, that's it. All right, as Frogman is on the ceiling, he begins to feel vibrations moving through the entire ceiling. And you guys all begin to hear loud mechanical whirrings and clickings through the walls for about a second or a second and a half. And then it all just stops. Shit moved. It's a predator. Shit moved. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Shit moved. It's like an RS dungeon. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Ben's volcano comes out. <laughs> At first, when I saw this picture, I thought it looked like Hunlith, and I thought we were about to have to fight a corrupted Hunlith. Now it's getting This is really scary. All right, I want to attack. Minotaur sprite, and then I just kind of made it bigger, and I was like, oh, that's fucking dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're... Ryan, are you done, or...? Yeah, he said he's done. Mm -hmm. Um, Ratma. Damn. Uh, Ratma. Play well, them drums, boy. Wants to do the Play them good. The uh, coral aura. I'd like to get within 10 feet of the Minotaur and play my Storm Trumpet. Alright. He's blinded for two turns. That's about him. I'll get him right here. Alright, you're playing your Storm Trumpet. He is blinded now. Mm hmm. Or is he? <laughs> All right, let's go to Daddy. Finally, uh, I summon my snake. Daddy's python. Daddy's python. You gotta call it Daddy's python. Yeah. Daddy pulls uh, down and it makes a python. as it hits the ground. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Your snake has arrived. That's a snake a snake. And uh cool. Is Rivera on the the one closer to the wall or are you in the center? I'm in the center. Okay. I would say I probably he's there but pretend Sebastian is there. Yeah, that's probably gonna be my one action instead of attacking. Well you did use your snake already. Mm -hmm. Is that an action or a bonus action? That was a bonus action. It says bonus action on the summon snake? Um, I want it's an action. It's an action? Yeah. But I want to heal you. The snake will automatically heal him as soon as he moves within radius. I thought you were doing your staff snake. Yes. Well, that... That snake doesn't heal. Oh, that's the that's one that's that snake. Uh, yeah. a snake? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's fine. I, I do have a potion. I just... That's I was fair. hoping that I could do that and this. Can I, can I take, can I rewind that back out. and just heal his ass? I'm going to say no. Okay, that's fine. I'll just leave it. This is more you fun for the DM. Yeah. 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 Go on. Go on. Go, go all like in. Do anything with your snake. Um, I guess I can attack now. Yeah, I'm probably. Go you're going to have to probably move him over yeah. there where Sebastian was. That's fair. I'll put him right on Sebastian. We'll just move Sebastian back a little bit. Pretend he's not there. He's oh. there now. He's, he's here in spirit. Uh, we'll let you see a little more of the maze. Or is he even saying, nah, fuck that Minotaur? So he even removed himself from spirit. I just want to let you guys know, on that third turn, when, if that Minotaur can use that turn every time, he can slowly just send our whole group to that. Or kill us. His choice. Probably just kill us. Alright, so let me just attack the... Uh, Alright, then, do you have your snake stat sheet? Do you know what you roll for attack with your snake? How much damage it does? Yeah, I was the, you guys texted it to me. It's a plus five to hit. <laughs> Jinkies. Saved it, though. Hmm. There it is. Uh. Mm -hmm. Plus five to hit each... Reach five feet, one target, uh, one d one piercing damage, and then poison after that. If it yep, two d four if it hits. Your snake's probably not going to be doing much, but it'll do its best. So doesn't doesn't thick have to see roll a twelve or something? 
No, so that's for your acid spray. This snake, right. we've already tried to poison the Minotaur, and it looked like the poison didn't absorb into its skin, so your snake's probably about to do a maximum of one damage every time it attacks. Oh, I thought it could but do it. But probably more. reliably do it with a plus five. Yeah. He doesn't have much AC. It's chip damage. Just keep chipping away. All right, so I can only do... It's the attack. Just roll to attack and see what happens. So it's your d20. Okay, that's what I want to know. And then plus five to whatever you rolled. 16. So 21, that hits. So that's one, one damage. One damage. Nice. And is it for sure immune to poison? If it is, do, do we watch the is venom? Is it a chance this? to poison? Or is it it's poison on hit. Poison on hit? He is poisoned. Okay, that's so it's good. not immune to poisons. All right. Good. All right, so that does extra damage. So now every single turn, he's also about to be taking poison damage. So that snake actually helped out quite a bit. Don't I roll a 1d2? Or no? Uh, one D four. Does the poison when he gets infected? Poison is when he takes the yeah. Okay. Turn. Okay. So not yet. Okay. When right. the Minotaur's turn rolls around. We're back to Sebastian, who finds himself in a random room. So we're gonna skip right past him and go to over there. Next, right. say seventeen or turn. I feel like my turns are the most annoying. <laughs> yeah, so I'm make a deck like priority savings. So. No, you're fine, dude. That's I'm nice. gonna drink. Uh, oh. man, for as little as about, I think this is gonna help. I'm gonna drink my health potion. All right, that's a bonus action. Okay. So, so uh, thirteen health. Targets. And I'm gonna swing my sword. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do that. One. Sixteen on the dice. That's a hit. So D eight. Eight points of damage plus uh, strength, so ten. Ten points of slashing damage. All right. Um. Mm. <laughs> really think we should try and get away with guys. <laughs> All right, Ango, what are we doing? Ango, as it approaches to your turn, go ahead and roll a d20, and it's a survival check. Uh, 17. You're good. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't like oh, that. <laughs> Don't like... I like that. Right, Don't <laughs> like that. Um, I am going to... I'm going to move to the diagonal of Rivera behind my dire wolf. Right here. Right. Yep, and I am going to pour a dose of healing onto Rivera, so give yourself another 10. Right. I am going to have my dire wolf go and try to hit this man. Uh, 18. That's it. And that's going to be 2d6. Plus three, so that's going to be 12 damage, and then make a strength, uh, strength saving throw for 13. He's good. All right. I am going to... Plus one. I remember from that note that we read that there was something hanging around its waist, so I'm going to look at its waistline. Let's get a perception check. Nine. Nine. You see off the back corner of his waist a shiny object for a second before it's tucked back between its loincloth kind of hanging off of him. Um, can I roll for an arcana to see if there's anything emanating from his loins? Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, eight. Eight loins. You feel something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't like how you said that. This is on you to figure out. All right. Um, you look at his loins and you feel stirred. <laughs> <laughs> Someone redeemed the dance. I feel you. slightly conflicted, yeah. but also at the same oh, time slightly yeah, aroused. Me wagon redeemed dance. Oh. Who you choose? A... Ooh. Is it team dance and dance? No, dance for one person. He said oh, it in the comment. Spilly Jill, let's see the moves. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! Hit it, girl! Oh yeah! Oh, oh she, she hit it! Oh yeah! <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, with that hey, perception, I'm that alive. I was able to tell like if it looked like there was an additional belt outside of a loincloth, or that it, it looked like it might have been like all one tucked into the loincloth. Tucked into the loincloth. Are you going to steal this man's underwear? I was going to try to slash the loincloth off to see if he might be able to lose any sort of magical prowess. Great. Now it's going to be a naked minotaur. Maybe weaker and naked, so he might also be embarrassed. Everybody is now intimidated. 40 years. 
Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Keyword, bigger. <laughs> All right, no, I guess I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to chuck both my daggers at him. All right. Are you aiming for his one claw? Uh, no, I'm just aiming at him. Right. Uh, first one misses, and second one is going to be a 13. Miss. Yeah, so he has a 13 AC, guys. And now I'm just gonna... Good luck. I'm gonna move right. back a little bit further. Right. Move, oh, yeah, move me back to right in front of where... Uh, I guess I'll guard off our healer. Move me in front of our healer. All right, Amber, what are you going to do? All right, so I think I'm going to use my tangle shot and try to... I, I'm just going to throw a warning at you. You're in tangle with your tangle shot. We'll only hold him in place. We won't do any damage. And as far as you can see, he doesn't really need to move much. Yeah, he's not moving around. <laughs> Considering you guys all came With how space. big he is, though, your hail of thorns might well, hit him he several did, times. He did come at... Rivera, so I figured if we, if we came at him, no then came, him. No we came at him. Come at anyone. No, well, you didn't have to This man was sitting there, and you all rushed up to his face and took 26 damage. <laughs> okay. But he okay. might be big enough to where if your Hail of Thorns hits, he might get hit several times by it. Who knows? But you're healed, right? Is it yeah. Hail? Mostly. Is Hail of Thorns a, I'm good. Like, yeah. a long again. range? Yep. It's the exact same range. So what it does okay, is so that... Okay, so I'd get plus two if I use Hail of Thorns then. Okay. To my cool. bonus oh, hell attack. Yeah. Love yeah, that. Do that. So I am going to hit you for Hail of right, Thorns then. Thank you so for that'd be the, a plus six. the warning. Yep. So add it's six to what we roll. So uh, that is... I got an 18, that so is gonna 24. Hit. All right, so now we're also probably going to want to determine where exactly you want to shoot. Oh, I just assumed you were aiming for the center, right at his head. All yeah, right. for sure. Just wanted to make sure that we're not accidentally getting caught. For in sure, I hope I get him in the eye. Um, <laughs> but I also still have him on fire, so it takes an, a one d six. Yes. So it's I just not wanted history, to remember. Right. Okay. So All right. So now no you problem. roll for your initial damage. Yes. Give me the damage. What do I roll? One. That's going to be your d eight, or is it d eight or d ten? A d eight. D eight. D eight. That one with forty. That as well. This as guy, the uh, diamond looking yeah. guy. Yeah, that's the one. Roll that. An eight. Sweet. I'm Love feeling that. great. Let's give you four more times in that D8. Oh. Ooh, one. Another one. Five. Keep going. Seven. One more time. That's some beefy 20. damage. One. 22. We take those. 22. Yeah, and then plus your damage isn't done. When his turn rolls around, he's being Fire. burned to a crisp. Holy Toledo, that was good. That Thanks was really for the good. advice, yeah. everybody. That was really good. Oh, Woo! Right. Now we're on our enemy's turn. He's going to take his damage real quick. That is... That is fire damage and also his poison fire damage. Mm -hmm. what did he say? Uh, read, read your thing off again. Mine's a d6. Okay. Uh, it's the first initial impact to d6. It says and every it's a d6 turn. After that. Every turn it's on fire. It takes an extra damage one d6. Woo! Out of. Out of. We're trying to you don't get to out. know that. All We're right. trying to figure it out. We don't know how strong he is. Okay. He'll die when he dies. <laughs> he just looks straight. <laughs> can we do any kind of check? Hmm. We can use we a perception check to see these. maybe how Order your dog to murder on my behalf. <laughs> I'm doing that then. It's free. Yeah, There's no reason not to. Yeah. That's He's going advice. to aim for Frogman over here first. Oh no. What's your AC again now? I get some intelligence on that. Oh yeah, he hit you. Four. Shit. 17 damage with his great axe. All right. I'm sure. Are you still informed? Oh, yeah. yeah Love that. Bears are beefy bastards. Bear spider, so I wasn't sure if the spider wasn't as beefy. No, no, I picked. You, you get to pick and choose the attributes. <laughs> so he's a bear with all the normal stats, which is with But also gets to climb spiders. on walls. Yep. That is horrifying. And then, he's going to try to gore you with his horns. What did you say your AC was? 12. He misses that one. Yeah! You know what's funny is the spider has the higher AC. <laughs> is he trying an overrun maneuver? We'll see how fun ability he has. Alright, it's my turn. Hold on. Not yet. We're about to see how bad the DM wants to fuck us. Yeah. I'm trying to rush that part. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I would like. All of these three, let's go, Dire Wolf, Snake, Rivera, and Ratma, all to 
make a strength saving start for me. So no Simba? No Simba. You're in the back. You're safe for now. Oh, yeah, I failed. But before I, I collapse to the ground, I'm going to use my bully, whatever its last part is called, the bully presence. Since he's coming in my space, I'm going to try and... I mean, it's not going to work, but... Ah. I'm swinging for the fences now and throw ah. my shield out and shove him. I don't think it needs to happen. <laughs> There's a look of disappointment after saying all that. I'm like, I want to I try and defend myself. Right. Fail. What we got? Oh, shit. Uh, real quick, and it's a strength. For the strength, so you need over a 14. Over, uh, yeah, no. No? No. Uh, snake? Are you down? I'm, I'm just pushed to the ground. Snake, DC 14 saving throw. So roll your 20. Watch the snake be the one that makes it. Plus it's strength. What's that say? Six. Six. No, Six. You're just, no, that's not good. And last one is random. This so, I, I want I want clarification on how a snout snake that lives on the ground can be pushed to the ground successfully. Yeah, I'm not really sure on that. Snake is no problem. Yeah, that actually I want to challenge that. That does no. All His right. strength is negative three. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> who wrote Who wrote this shit up? Like why did you do this to this guy like this? Roll, you are taking nine damage and being pushed back. My snake pushed is back, dead. Not prone. Prone. Prone, push back. So okay. my, my snake is dead from that. Yes. What the fuck? Your snake's now your dead. staff is up. What if you got pushed? Is First it pushed back and prone? prone. Mm. I know, but have? it's on the floor. Oh, the dire wolf is a beefy guy. The right. dire wolf has 37 total. Does wow. that mean I picked up my staff again, or is it just on the floor? It's now? on the floor. It's, 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 it's yeah. on the ground right now. But it got pushed back a little bit, so it's closer to you. It's getting close. You don't have to run up to the minotaur. I know that, but it still was on the floor. It should not have been squished. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of... Jay, you're still on the ceiling? Yeah. Jay, you again feel the vibrations moving through the ceiling. You all on the ground hear mechanical clickings through the walls. Something's happening here! Why am I being turned into an old Jewish man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is the, is the walls, bird, like, coming bird. in? Are they shrinking? All right, with that, we are moving on to Frogman. All right, I am oh, going to use my... What is even happening? All right. <laughs> um, I have like a, a five-foot range on it, so I want to move up just close enough to use it. Yeah, it's right here, good enough. It's a big box. All right. So we're going to start with the bite. That's a miss. Claw. That's a miss. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Daddy? Um, I pick up my staff. Alright, fine with that. So I'm still just. So it needs to be healed. Of course, this is this man's legendary. I will say my dire wolf is probably still. You just got unlucky to be the one I think we're actually okay on him. Do you want to try and poison spray him? Okay. It's not indefinite, though. He well, moved. poison spray is probably going to have a very small chance to hit because he has got high con. It's a con roll. There's a chance. Um, the I mean, yeah, but if I don't have anything else to do my turn, I might as well just take that Rat chance. Was, uh, yeah. 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 I mean, I can't heal anyone else, Born right? You could, yeah. but also He's we done, might want to save him. Yeah, okay. I don't think... Yeah, Coral or... What, no, not Coral or... Oh, he's, 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 he's also been blinded yeah. this whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. you can try But it didn't work. I mean, what do you think? That makes sense. That makes sense. Force him to roll. Oh, first I'm going to do the It makes sense. I don't Can like I do it. a nature check on the on the beast and see how bloody he is and how his condition looks yeah, like? Yeah, Use your medicine check as a deal. Okay, is that my d20? Yes. Yep. And then add your medicine to whatever you roll. <laughs> Five. Oh, medicine. Two. Five. Yeah. yeah he looks, he looks like, like a minotaur. Yeah, he looks like a... Cuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Acid spray. Um, acid spray after that, acid yeah. Spray, let's do it. And it's a, it a DC 12 or 13? 13. 13. 13. 13 con. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's probably not going to hit, but there's a chance. Nah, he's good. <laughs> All right. Man's an absolute problem. Monster. About it. We back to Sebastian? Yeah, we're back to Sebastian, who is still in a room. My bad. Uh, now you're over to Rivera. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up and brush myself off. 
Uh, you remember when you said you thought that there was going to be monsters like ones we hadn't seen before if we went this way? Yeah. Just wanted to remind <laughs> you of that. I can't remember what I've been on this band. <laughs> I just know he got randomly chosen. I just was like, and he's going here. And, just put him in and of here course, and we got him. the first one. Yeah. Make, it's it make it's total mostly total a bull. Oh, we've seen that before. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! To the third level, maybe. <laughs> maybe, huh? Whoever can turn into a catapult can launch a cow. Oh, that's Ember. What? I don't. I feel like we can somehow use that right now. I don't. Shoot him into the catapult and launch him into a wall. <laughs> you can try, but I'm just saying it says a full-grown cow, not a full-grown minotaur. <sighs> this thing is massive. Yeah. We, I, what did we decide a full grown cow was between like 800 and 1300 pounds? On average, yeah. How Top many end is like 16 to 2000. If it's well, like since he's a bull, guy. and bulls normally weigh more than twice as much. I don't know if this is the right time. And he looks and he's um, larger than a bull. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to stand what if up. They gave Ember and... black market steroids before they turned into <laughs> Where do you find me? <laughs> yeah, she's built with <laughs> redwood, not house. normal oak. All right, what do you do? I'm going to use the uh, nature check, and that's only an eight, so I don't think I get any more information than Daddy yeah, did about his, you more his physical health. <laughs> he looks pissed. Does he <laughs> seem like he can fit through the entrance to the left? It seems like he wouldn't be able to, you would think. You would think, oh man, no. Famous he's last word. Yeah, he'd just run through that brick wall and be like, what's up, guys? Either that or move the walls out of his way. But as we've seen, he is the master of the labyrinth. What he can and can't do seems pretty endless from this point. Fair. Well, let's see if we can take a few more stab wounds then. At this point, you've established that we cannot <laughs> run away. All right, you want to move up into his face again? Yeah, nat right. 20. Woo! 20 again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's give it like five damage. <laughs> uh, that's 13. All right, that's not bad. Feel bad. Nat 20! Let's Back to backs! Alright, give me the shield bash damage. If he gets one more, he becomes the DM. Those are the rules. <laughs> 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 the rules. I'm the captain here. Alright, well that one's significantly less more less interesting. It's only two damage. But does that knock him prone with a nat 20 on a shield bash? Does that knock him prone on a nat 20 on so, a shield as bash? As a large, uh, more than large creature, he's not going so he just kind of like shakes a little bit. He, kinda, like, he stumbles and just kind of gets pissed more. <laughs> well, that's that's not a great maneuver. I guess. Can I uh, throw my sword up there and? Uh, is that an action? Oh, holy! Or is that? Yeah, it was not specified as an action. I'm assuming it's an action. I would. What is it? What is the exact throw? Your sword borrows a small portion of the power of the holy blade. Buffing all those in a 20 foot radius, everyone in your aura has a. It doesn't even specify that it takes an action. I'm gonna say bonus action on that. Well, I've used it for shield bash, so that's yeah. an open. Yeah, that was a Why don't you just moment. write on your bonus action just so you know it's the next step? Um, Alright, let's go to Anga. I am going to have. Uh, is that my dire wolf that's next to the wall? Where's my dire wolf at? He's behind. And then. The it's one ugly spot. Spot. And then that, yeah, that empty. Sebastian's empty. All right, yeah, I'll move my dire wolf up. Yeah, sorry, I didn't specify that on the. One hair we got. Um. Yeah, I'm going to have my dire wolf attack him. All right. Yeah, twenty four. That's a hit. So when am I going to be able to turn it into the Minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to be six damage. Why shape should I? And then makes his DC 13 strength saving throw. He's good. Yeah, I assume so. I am going to... I mean, my Dire Wolf is a fairly reliable source of damage. Do you think I should use a healing dose on him or not? Uh, what? He's beefy, so not only can he absorb some hits, but he's also he only took one the of the more reliable damage. damage. No, he took nine damage. Keep in mind, this is probably going to be the toughest battle out of the entire level, so yeah. you might as Give well it. go balls to the wall. Yeah, yeah, drop everything. Everything you got. I'm going to, yeah, I'll use my 
bonus action to throw a dose of healing onto my dire wolf, bring back to full. And then I'm going to attack with my daggers. Make sure you erase that potion. Not, well, not the potion. Well, yeah, no. My, my potion's completely gone, so I use both doses. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Uh, yeah, that's a 23. That's a hit. Oh, that's the wrong die. A uh, seven. <coughs> and I attacked my it's other perfect. dagger. It's ominous. Thirteen. It's gonna mess. <laughs> yes. And uh Yeah, I'm just gonna stay put, I guess, and wait for my inevitable death. Ember, what are we doing? Real so quick. We're all doing. Oh, hold on. Real quick. Let me get a survival check from Ratma. And does he have a negative survival? Yep. That probably brought like a 20. <laughs> Five? Yeah. That's, yeah that's the... <laughs> As you're standing there, Ratma, you feel the earth start to kind of quake a little bit beneath you, and it falls into a pitfall. Roll a d6. <laughs> oh, fuck. Huh. Three. And you take three points of damage falling into this pitfall trap. <laughs> Dang. All right, Amber, what are we doing? How <laughs> deep is it? Do I have to roll for that? Ratma said six feet. six feet. Six feet, so we might be able to get him out. You can get out. Oh, for sure. He can right. crawl out. Just throw his hands up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I... Want to throw, I guess, my hail of thorns again? How many uh, charges does that have? Infinite, I'm pretty sure. There's no way that's infinite. Mm. I think we established earlier it was infinite. <laughs> thought so too. And by earlier, it means the immediate pre- previous. They're like level one or whenever she. I don't it. know. Okay, what does it say? It doesn't have charges, cooldown, anything like that. No, I feel like it's got like two. It charges. says concentration. Because the vast majority of the time she ended up missing her shots, but we always just kept trying. One bonus action. Which one? Hail of Thorns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think oh, the fire arrow. Does yeah, the fire does arrow? Well. Yeah, the fire arrow doesn't take an alchemist it's fire. Well, well if I can't use it, I don't know. Back me up on this, Sean. That's not a spell slot, right? Let's do it. Does it's she it's have it's just like a regular weapon? Run it. You're that good. I can just write it. All right. Well, I'm just, I'm just gonna this run. It's just one of those rare things where it works out really well. It's well, it didn't work out fun. really well. Add six. It's a, it's a two. It's, oh yeah, that's missing. <laughs> on certain days, thick baby loves fun. Um, right. <laughs> this is plenty of fun. Oh for wait. Him right well, now. technically, I have to add four, right? Six. six. Add six. Oh, so 14. then it's still an eight. Or, yeah. Wait, did you roll an eight? It's or an eight. Roll? I rolled a two. I rolled a two, uh, so it's At eight. least it wasn't a one. All right, over to our enemies. Sure. Fire I'm it. Sorry, guys. Fire. Not helpful. And then poison. He's taking eight damage total. He did. All right, let's start. Hmm. <laughs> what did you just tell me was hit? I feel like that's out. So we're between Rivera. The dire wolf and Frogman over here. Rivera, you're gonna attack first. He's right. going to swing his great axe at you. And what's your AC? 19. 19. Yeah, he's not hitting you on that one. Thank God. So he's gonna use his boar, but I think he's gonna go for the dire wolf on this one. Damn it. I've got, what is it? 14. 14. He is hitting you. Four. Hold on. Um. The st- dangerous as a prospect as this is, I'm going to throw the shield in front. All right, he's blocking his gore from you. Yeah! Uh, how many turns have you been stuck in that stun for Sebastian? This Two? Is third, this is a third this turn is now? This is the right. third one. I feel like that means... All right, so out. Sebastian, you reappear behind our big minotaur here, but then he raises his hand up once again. <laughs> that maybe. Nope. We're DA. Frogman. Damn it! You are now secluded in a new zone and disappear from the battlefield. Man. All right. It's actually really unfortunate because you're actually one of our tanks right now. I know, and it was his turn. Three turns. I would like to take a short rest. (laughs) Yeah, you can certainly try. 
a uh, 20 yeah. second short rest. <laughs> that leaves us to. Oh, yeah, three turns is in that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's trapped in that pit. Can he get out of that pit? Yeah, it was only six feet deep, but I'm I'm gonna say a bonus action to get out of it. All right, and then I drink up his health potion he has on him. All right. For ten. Yeah. And with that, let's go to. That much, Danny. Um, I'm gonna use my poison. Actually, no, I'm not. Has anybody been hit? Hurt Pretty anymore. Because yeah. I got guarded. I don't know. Did like, Grandma get hurt old? while he fell you into the pit? Like, what, 23? So, no. But he also just took a 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't hear that part. Grandma's only down two right now. All right, cool. So, attack him. Yeah. Oh, get okay. Him. Yeah. Acid you spray. get him. Acid spray. All right. He's good. He has a lot of constitution. Yeah, That's why I we're know. saying the acid spray is, it might not hit at all his entire skirmish. I know. But we well, might as well try. Wait, same thing with the strength check. How about the poison, how about the poison with the snake? He's been, he's been poison damage. Okay, okay. Yeah. I would like to attempt to yeah, cut off the flashy thing underneath the loincloth. Yeah, let's do a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. With okay. advantage for being invisible. Okay. And say you've been over 15 on this one. Damn, that didn't happen. No. Do you have an inspiration point? Oh, I do have an inspiration point. I'm going to use it. Nat 20, baby. Yes! All right. You slice at his loincloth, and it falls slightly down, but you do attract the attention of the Minotaur, revealing your invisibility to him. You are now not invisible, but you still have your turn. And you don't have advantage on your attack. All right, I'm going to use my elemental dagger. It fell slightly Wait, down. but he has the... Th- wait. He has the... I'm not going to give it to you yet. Just keep what? Going. Just keep going. You have it. Just keep going. All right, all right. Elemental dagger, I'm going to do... Radiant damage? Holy... I don't know if holy... I don't know if they're actually like chaotic or dark beasts. He's we know fireworks. I'm going to do thunder, them. lightning, fire, cold, poison, acid, radiant, necrotic. Oh, if it's listed, then yeah, you can do it. I just but don't know what I'm, would be I'm, the I'm, most... Yeah, the I'm, weakness I'm to this minotaur. You're going you're gonna to stab the man in his most unholy with holy damage. Yeah. Okay. I like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> radiant damage it is. Right, right up the uh, keister. Into his chocolate starfish. <laughs> mm, ten doesn't hit. No. no oh, damn. But a twenty will. A twenty will hit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right up in, in his unholy with that radiant damage. Fifty <laughs> percent damage rounded down. It says that's all, all right. I got. Yeah, so. so give me the damage on your dagger. Okay. Seven. Seven. So then that would be three damage. Three, 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 three damage. Ten total. It's a nice little hit there. Is there any bonus for radiant damage to this guy? You got your bonus of extra damage, but no, there didn't seem to be any seem special weak. effect to it. No. Just a little bleach bottle, huh? Yeah. Bleach bottle. You gotta clean it up. <laughs> Put a little shine on he it. He actually feels fresher after now. <laughs> Rivera. So it's like All right. the African starfish got to dried out. <laughs> you guys hear the walls starting to click and clang again. Do I perceive anything <laughs> from the room? <laughs> There's a train here. Vibrations? All right. Uh, I don't feel vibrations at all. <laughs> not where you're at. Okay. So ten's not going to hit him, but I will raise my sword aloft for holy for right. holy damage for everyone for the next three rounds. I like it. Uh, I'll go. I am going to have my dagger wolf bite at this man. Boo this man. Boo. Nineteen hits. Nineteen does hit. That's so gonna be seven plus the no, is the holy still so just gonna be that fifty percent rounded down? No, it's oh, a D four. Okay, so seven plus. So it's eleven total damage. Eleven, right. but, and your gut is a bite. Yeah, it's a bite, piercing. Okay, so your dire wolf lunges forward and bites into the calf of this minotaur, and he enrages himself as he grabs the walls around him and almost pulls them magically out from one another, sealing himself off from the whole party, including your dire wolf. <coughs> As the walls recede back to where they were, the Minotaur and your dire wolf are no longer there. But 
Sebastian's probably Brought back there. He's back to where he was, but there's no Minotaur to be found. What the fuck just happened? Wait, but is, so it's the dire wolf been? and Sebastian yeah. would be behind him, just, really? just No, he closed off like the walls behind him. Or he secluded himself from the whole party. So, uh, all back. right. I, I think I see where you're going with that. So take, just imagine he reached over to the wall and pulled it over himself like a blanket. Kind of, yeah. And then Do I, I should Sebastian, still have control over down my dire wolf, should I not? The battle is over, you see a box. Oh, yeah. Oh man! Shit! This fell out. I had some half to it. <laughs> wow! It's like it's a flip over from the front. Yeah. I thought it was a slide. It's only wor- uh, uh, right that the chocolate starfish. Get the chocolate so do I no longer chocolate. have control Jesus. over my direwolf? How are you doing this? Fuck that! Oh my gosh! What is it? Oh, oh god. Shit. Can I see that? I would so love to attempt this. Yes. I am the king. I would love I to attempt the king. this. This is what I got. This that is actually cool Google. as hell. That is All super right. neat. Do I not have control over my dire wolf anymore the though? Wolf this is pretty nifty. Corner. I would also That's like fucked. to take a look at it. Well, I'll pass Ooh. it around. I hate you for that. Ooh, Wait, hold on. Would the dire wolf fit into it? Did he at I least make a, his strength saving throw? Yeah, that is pretty nifty. We just really nasty. <laughs> Maybe he got knocked prone and wasn't able to pull the walls in. Really matter. You are not lying. This thing is heavy as yeah, hell. Yeah, that's why I said don't throw it. Did you put something in there? Oh, there yeah. is something in there, yeah. Did it come with it in there? Yeah, yeah. We're not going to figure bucks? this out yet, but this is cool. I don't remember no. How much I paid so for. I'd like to point out uh, that the, my th- working theory, I'm not sure how it relates, but that those are letters, not shapes in the dungeon, because the other one looks similar to like a rune that I've seen. Right, I'm going to this back to Sebastian, who is the proud owner of the puzzle. But as a human being, my curiosity, you know, I was like, I want to see that bad boy. No, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. That's, that's really heavy cool. duty. I would ask you to please not try to cheese the puzzle and like force it open. No, absolutely. As this is all going on, uh, Daddy, yes. give me a survival check. Oh no. D20? Yes. yes. Plus wisdom, so... Uh, 16? My 17 was good. I'm hoping Wait. that 16 is all right. wisdom... Oh, it's this one. It's survival at the very bottom. Oh yeah, 16. Uh-oh. As you fail that check, you notice that a giant log starts to swing at you from the ceiling. A log? A giant log. Go ahead and roll a... Uh, a dead fall. These are some he really difficult survival checks. Track. 20? I love it. Wonka, I love that you set up the dead fall trap. 12. You manage to drop to the floor going prone and dodging the log. Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> I hate this. As you're laying on the floor, Fuck you feel it. something behind you. As you get up, you find a crumpled piece of paper ripped off from another. Alright, hand this over to daddy. What it say, what it say. Okay, day 20. My thoughts are obsessed with the object. It has taken my mind from me slowly. I've made a plan to take the object from the big boss thing. There is no chance I'll be able to take it in a fight. I need to trick the beast. Day 22. I did it. I tracked the beast and lost my arm. It's supposed to be tricked? I, I lost my arm and, and a good chunk of my stomach, but it was worth it. It's mine. And then some... Like, oh, the symbol. Down. Yeah, symbol. Day 25. I managed to keep myself alive, although sheer will... Th- alive through sheer, sheer willpower. Although I have slowed down quite a bit, I can't return to my base camp. I'm not the only one or thing. The object pulls, the object pulls it, pulls to it. It seems integral to this place. The object calls out to the beasts in the area and reveals my location to them somehow. How that many notches sucks. are on that thing? So there's six, and every single row is in alphabetical order. So it's a word that we have to figure out to spell. There's only one line for answering. There's not multiple, so. Six letter word, we gotta figure out what it is. So here's. Can I uh, take a look at that? Yeah. Oh. I've just we been. We might have three of these so far. Three is totally <laughs> enough to answer. Hang on, I'm gonna come over there. So these are the three symbols that are on there. Again, it's a presumption. And we don't really know the order, but these are the symbols we have to figure Six out what they relate to. All right, none of those are vowels. Boobies. How Correct. can you? 
That's that would be sad. great. It's that sad. would be That's great. That's a P. That one's either a T or something, and then that Boobies. looks like an R. R. Yeah. Do you want the the days? The days. Is there a P and an R in there? Keep it dry. I think he's it's trying to tell us something. To it's Pratt's. Though. Huh? It's Pratt's. Pratt's, P R I T Z. Did you try? But there's six Ooh, letters. <laughs> <laughs> well, password. <laughs> We're supposed to keep our sheets separate or all together? I mean, we can keep them all together. They're all ripped out from the same diary. Now. Gotcha. Like no cheesing. Rainbow something. T R A P S. Is it five or six? I was just going to think okay. maybe trapped without an E because there's just not enough here. letters. Rainbow so I was going to do T A R P D D, yeah. but that's not. T R A. It's a big one. Though. Sorry. I don't know why that's in my head right now, but. Because Star Wars is always on the mind. Yeah. May the force be with you, Drake. Oh, thank you. No. Nope. All right. So we don't have enough information to go on. We'll leave it alone for now. Wait, right, pass it over here. <laughs> I'm not content to leave it alone for now. This is no. Nah. Give it to Sebastian. Where's your magic, Jay? Sebastian wants his trinket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do now, guys? Uh, uh boy. Uh, so I'm actually feeling uh, okay I about life now. I feel like there's a In highlight. That, I don't have to quite that thing anymore. <laughs> okay. So Let's go since south. we know where we're going, okay. is do we want no, to no, start our glowing footprints now? Uh, up to you guys. To How do you guys it? feel? Yeah. Do we oh, want okay. to, or do we want to right. try do to, like, to accept the we get lost. since we... <laughs> <laughs> since so it's not a default one, it's one you set yourself. I set myself. Okay. Since we ended I up finding... I think the default it came with was, like, lover, love, or something like that. It was supposed to be, like, a Valentine's kind of thing, yeah. And I was like, yeah, hey, he's cheap. Oh, it's a you password know all about cheap easy, I got it. Lover. <laughs> the object inside, I think, will make you guys laugh. So, <laughs> since we got this, do we have anything to, like, write with? Sean, I would prefer you didn't cheese it, if you can. It's not Sphinx. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point we just don't have enough letters. Uh, yeah. okay. All right, South. No. I think. South. Right. I'll put it in the but box. And I'm thinking okay. yes to the Keep Do rolling, we have rolling, any rolling, like writing rolling. utensils oh, with we do us? Not. Uh, do we, we have oil know how to and a stick. We have oil and a stick. Maybe we should start mapping out where we've gone on the back of one of our papers. Well, I have, yeah. do have it in explorer mode, so if I zoom out. Looking looking you guys at do the have a grayed out version of the background. Looking at the the new okay. trinket and the pa papers we have. Mm -hmm. Can I roll a perception check to see if I can put anything together on that? Sure, why not? 18. You have no idea. Yeah. Because I'm what just thinking, fuck? like, <laughs> it's, like I said, it's I probably going to be a big yet. maze, and he has a journal, so we know, might as well. I but I was well. thinking maybe we could cheese it in the game through dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DM said that you could try. He didn't say that you could succeed. There. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes thick loves fun. He was having plenty of fun when we were thinking that we might die. Yeah, I know. That's his form of fun. I, his, like that fun. <laughs> I guess yeah. go south. Straight yeah, south. let's roll. Autobots, roll out. I'm just walking along, like scuttling along, and quacking every so often. I hate it. Quack, quack. quack. I hate it. I scuttle past... Oh, I go repeatedly, yeah, just kind of cracking it as you know. Yeah, yeah, God. I pee a little bit. The wall starting to make the mechanical clicking sounds you think. Oh. Uh, okay. I feel a rumbling. So we go back? Quack. I guess okay. we go back. So that's a dead end. Um, should we try going over to the other opening? Yeah. Do they connect? I'm just going to skip you through the wall. Oh, no. Back the other way. Alright, this is back where we were. It's canon now. We can now blink, so we can just teleport past every single wall. Cool. But whenever we might, whenever we might get a moment, we might want to try to long rest if safely. So I might be able to get my dog back. 
Yeah, I, feel like I would like to roll to loot Will's mouse. <laughs> All right, let me get a survival check from Stefan. Great. And... Yeah, uh... Oh, and, uh... Ember. Eight. Seven. Fifteen? Had your survival. I did. Oh. I did. All right, I rolled a six. I'm talking to Will's mouse. Fifteen? All right, you guys lucked out. It wasn't that big of a trap right now. All three of you end up going prone from a tripwire just falling right in front of you. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm good. I'm good. What are you guys doing? Get off the ground. Quit messing around. I you slice, made me pee I and I slipped the on the pee. <laughs> I slipped the tripwire. <laughs> As you slice the tripwire, the whole labyrinth shakes in an angry roar. Oh, man. Hate that. I run up to Ango and I say, <laughs> Hey, mind if I hit your ride? And I we'll start scrubbing over you. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. All right. I don't know whether keep, or not I'm so angry I'd want to try to stab walking, at you, you or if I'm so a, angry or so scared I just can't move. You hear a very <laughs> loud <laughs> roar. But it's not quite close to you, but it, in the distance you hear a loud echo of a roar come from somewhere. Oh shit, what was that? Really? Are you slicing the wire? Not from you slicing the wire, just. Oh crap! I, I, would like I to feel roll like he's coming to back. See what direction the roar might be coming from? In the labyrinth? Yeah. Go yeah. <laughs> For perception, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Sounds like it's coming from somewhere in the labyrinth. You don't know enough about labyrinths. Sweet. As I hear the roar, Drake, I jumped up but, and I'm now perched all eight legs on the top of your head. But <laughs> you're as like a, a bear, bear, though. A bear spider. <laughs> How heavy are you? <laughs> Don't but, worry. Uh, no. <laughs> Am I just dead now? <laughs> you do realize this is the same roar as the creature you just fought. So he's. Hey he's guys, for he's us. still alive. My, I think my yeah. wolf, my wolf can take him. Well, what about the poison that we injected in his veins and the fire that he was on? You would think so. <laughs> All right, which way would we go? He used the walls as a sort of fire blanket. We mm-hmm. haven't stopped up and rolled. Yeah, do you I guys want to go east go... or west? Maybe we'll, we'll go west. That way. West, all right. I say we flip our coin. Oh, east then. It's a dead end. And you turn As you guys hit a dead end, <laughs> and begin to double back. You hear all the walls start to make mechanical noises. Well, as soon as you hit the dead end, I was like, I'm waiting for it. And I was like, and you turn back, and he cut it. And I was like, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Are all these clickings, I wonder, is the Minotaur rolling, like moving around the map? No, the no. map is changing. Because it, it, he wasn't moving. like He was physically just standing there in front of us, and then the clicking was still happening. So, no, it's not him moving. But I'm just wondering Ember. if he's just rolling the die, and then RNG might like make us roll him sooner do rather some, than later. Uh, maybe, do we have a firebomb? We can make alchemist potions. I think we have all the ingredients for fire. fire. Yes, we have flasks of oil. I think that was part of it. And there was like a red, I think and it was then, red berry. And then use up the rest of the water flasks to make the health potions for everyone. Yeah, I definitely could use one. Because yeah, I don't have one anymore. Super After dangerous. That skirmish. Oh, that guy was very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Also remember, he's probably not All right, the only for monster. for Alchemist, wait, <laughs> where did I just, Alchemist Fire is what you guys want to use? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we need a flask of oil and red berry. How many flasks of oil do you have? It is. I did not think it was going to be two. No, no, no. I thought it was down a little Three. Three? Okay, I'll give you three red berries then. Okay. And make three alchemist yeah, fires. Quick fly update to me and where it's <laughs> Yes, they have. Well, I have her unlock the ability to combine three different creatures. This one. That would be a good one. Because then I could be a, like, I could have okay. the flying ability in, in addition to scum. Uh, and um, it's a 20 really foot. What's this thing over here that we see? Uh, he said it's nothing. It's an somewhere. artifact on the map. So I already tried thing. to loot okay. it. Zero. It didn't work. D4. As you try to loot it, you feel like you're being watched by eight to ten people in a room rolling dice and then you snap back into it. What? What? <laughs> I just had the craziest little daydream. I, I was, I was sitting, we were all there. You, you were there, you were there, you were there. But you weren't you. 
Like, like for example, you looks like a grumpy guy. Uh, but not like your normal self, like a different grumpy guy. Do you want to end up like that minotaur? What? With a blade up your bum hole? Oh. You did, why did you put it there? He'll bleach it, it real nice it for It got us oh. this little puzzle thingy. So, oh, you... I thought you got Sometimes that before. You, 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 you got it after? Gift. You got it after? You, so you stab them in the butthole and then you got it? As this is happening, can I get a survival check from Grunt Thor and Frogman? Grunthor doesn't exist, so... Grunthor died in another campaign. <laughs> oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Mm. Well, Ross, but yeah. Sebastian. You know what I meant. Oh, right fuck me. All right, I failed. I got a five. I need the number. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what my current thing is for whatever form I'm in, but it's four. Oh, that's definitely wrong. <laughs> that's All what right. I said. I failed. Can I get an acrobatics check from both of you as giant logs start falling at you from the sea swinging at you. 17. No, 16. Sorry. 13. Sebastian and Frogman, you both managed to drop to your stomachs going prone and dodging the logs. What? What the fuck was that? What are you doing? We gotta get a move up. on. I hop back up and slap the frog it up, and I'll say, it. shut it. You almost got us killed with your mouth. Let's go. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go to the east okay, then. Okay, Mr. Chocolate Starfish. And, and the walls give you some hot dog flavored water real end. quick. You hear all the walls start to make mechanical noises. That's the traps resetting. Hey, out, Starfish, guys. what do you think's going on? You think that's the traps resetting? So far, every single time we've heard the mechanical noise, everybody gets attacked by some random crap from the walls. So I yes. don't know, a couple times, just nothing happened. I was feeling the rumblings when I was climbing Press up it out, scream again. Yowza! <sighs> yeah. Nothing happened. Where did you guys have There was the area that you told us that we weren't going to go because right, we were so walking. This is probably the one that's up right now. Is, is the one that looked like cobblestone. Yeah, yeah, that way. Well, I don't think, no, I'm thinking over here. So mm. that's that's okay. Okay. As you enter into this area, you hear a very loud roar. This one seems to be quite a bit closer. Can we go? Let's get him! <laughs> I agree with that guy. I don't. <laughs> if we finish him off, he's already weekend. If we finish him off, no, he might not and be weak. He might he's have his short rest by now, bro. He might just be over there in his little wall blanket, fucking recoup and re-edge. <laughs> Fucking rub be. one out, ready to go. <laughs> Recouped and re -edged. Do you have oil? How do you know I have oil? Do you have a flask of oil? I don't. What's I your statue look like? Only I did. <laughs> look like. So now I can't write anything. Man, I was in that little read. room. Fair enough. Yeah, that makes it difficult. But we don't have anything anymore. Do we have any spare nice healing then, potions? I, was I, was able to take I, feel like, I feel like Ember was making some. Did you make any uh, healing well, potions? I no, I did not. Well. You, it's the <laughs> it's, uh, lesser uh, potion of health. Yep, mush yep mushroom and water. I think it's... Uh, What's the the yep, glass of water, red right. berry... I was wrong. You can go up that Or mushroom. Stone. You can? Yeah. Would we like to go up that stone path then instead of over here? How many do you guys, you guys want? I would just like want one. one. If, if possible. Have, yeah, if you have large Billy mushrooms. Let's goaded up, motherfuckers. What are you doing? Let's go way back up. Ross, uh, do we have no, no. a lesser? Do we have flasks of water and four red berries or, or mushrooms? I have four flasks of water and sure. as many red berries and mushrooms yeah, as right. needed. Okay, I'm, sure I'm going to take two and two. I know. Two red berries I'm campaigning two for it. No, we have no two, idea where he went. I need to yeah, You've been campaigning for death the snow. majority of the campaign, so you're within here. It's caused death for others, not death for us so far. Mushroom. That is a good point. Okay. What is that? The rule or the exception? The dose one or whatever, or that that the, mm. uh, the, the berry says. I feel like. Wait, but that's a triple dose. We for almost only killed one person. Last time. Yeah. We don't it? know that. Yeah, yeah but if we could give that to Stephens, <laughs> <laughs> and he has more health. I yeah, mean, he can do like a thirty humongous? health in one go. Do we have a humongous mushroom? Yeah, yeah. 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 
right. You can say we, we had do. some stuff to figure out. Over here. Mm -hmm. About time. Do we do. Eh? You want to go this way? Hell uh, no. I feel like that was the group consensus. All right, which one? What, that we wanted to go in the green? In the stone. The oh, in the stone? Okay, let's do it. Uh, I feel like the one no. on the right, okay. as let's I'm looking at it, berries. is mm -hmm. a dead end. Actually, take... Or we could do the double dose, which is just a large can't option. be sure. Take two They're dozens. occupied making potions so we don't die. Um, oh. I'm going to let them continue that because yeah. it's a great idea. All right, so... <laughs> I guess, uh, shit, let's do, do the 50-50 chance. Do you have I can make my potion? own. One, two okay. is left, three, four is right. We're going so, right. All right, we're just start going up right. Good deal. It is a dead end. I hold it. The walls start making mechanical noises again. How they have an end. Anyone else feel rumblings? Rumblings in the tumblings. <coughs> we got any honey? Going left now? Yes. We got a dead end on the right, too. Righty oh, then, let's go. Righty then. So those are obviously dead ends. Let's, yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right, yep. Yeah, uh, it looks like we only have one path. I'd like a perception check. What seems different about this area? Huh? We did the two mushrooms. Yeah. Can I roll for it? You can certainly try. I hate that answer. 17. You notice that this area has rocks on the ground as opposed to grass on the ground. Fuck you. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy, yep. Leroy! You guys have your potions. Thank There's you. Another dead Is it one dose, dose or two doses? doses? We just gave you one dose. Okay. The walls start to vibrate again. We don't have any we don't have any large mushrooms anymore. That's fine. We'll make do with what we got. All right, okay, so what else we have left? Can at least blow it above the camera. No, I, um, that one I, where was that other green sure area? Did we go through the other green area? We blow it above oh, the camera. Okay. Well, are you guys interested in going into this other green area? You yep. can't afford a Sure. But isn't that where the next beast is going to be at? We don't know. It could be anywhere. Yes, we can. We don't know. It could be anywhere. Do you roll it when you go in the places? That looks like a dead end to me. I haven't seen. Whenever the mechanical walls click, I've been seeing Will roll a dice. The mechanical walls, or the walls start to make. That's why I'm saying whenever the walls click, is the boss just moving around? Maybe the walls are moving around as we walk. Oh right. So, this is as much oh. as you can explore of the bottom left area right now. We'll zoom out for you so you can see a little better. Oh, too far. <laughs> All the things that being dead ends, mostly. But you just, it's clear it's, there's quite a bit left in the bottom left. You just can't get to it. We've thrown back to the color. Oh, this one? This one's not Okay, and just so everybody knows. I can no longer write where we're going and how, like, map it out because we used all of our oil on the potions. Okay. That's fine. Just let everybody know. So we are back to, we could get lost. We're just going to fire bombs for minotaurs. Do we want to give um, Ratma and Daddy a fire bomb? Were you just dripping yeah, oil? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, That's actually. actually. Were you yeah. just dripping oil? Was that your... You're doing yeah, and then on a stick. Oh, I have a flask of blood. A rage fighter, anyway. Flask so. of blood. I could do it in blood. All right. But also, that, does that lost. flask of blood is it used in any of our other potions? No, no. They when I, I asked to do it, like he was like, it's not going to be used for anything. So he's just kind of a weirdo carrying a flask of blood. This is like when you guys were cutting off <laughs> goblins and stuff. And right hey, guys! I still have my brown junk. Just right. so we don't get lost, Magic Johnson gave me this flask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. I'll go back to mapping it out then. In blood. I heard it's very magical. <laughs> How lovely. All right, so... You should taste it. <laughs> okay, if you heat it up, and if you heat up the vial like, and it bounces, then, no then, then we know it's contaminated. Thing. Alright, do we want to choose a new section? Um, I'll leave it up to the party to pick the next section. According We've already done the bottom left. Um, I'm totally down to go this way, um, near the green side. I follow our tanky I man. 
So the green side is the top and bottom left that you guys have already mapped all of it out. We did. Oh, that, that so connected to the other side. This you have a path here, but it's just connecting to the bottom right. Okay, well then. Uh, just to go to the bottom right. That's totally fine. We'll just go there then. Or you can go anywhere. Whatever you want, guys. Want. Yeah, let's go to the bottom right then. All right. All right. Are there any supplies left from that dude at the base camp? We haven't found his base oh, camp yeah. yet. Bottom right. That's true. That, that entrance area, that's not his base camp. I don't think so. Oh, hang on. Can I take a closer look at the statue of the Minotaur? There, there's no statue. There was one the last floor. It was the last floor in front of the tower. We that was our just oh, our gotcha. entrance. Uh oh. To oh. get in here. Lane. We gotta keep looking for clues. Well, now that we're around. back here, we know that we've already used the spell slot, and I also don't have my dog. Do we think it'd be safe to try to rest here before we start to venture on? I might be able to get my dog back, and he might be able to get a spell slot back and be able to summon. Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, yeah. getting my charge and back. And any heals Sorry. that we, Sorry. any damage we've taken. Just heal it up. So I got a question sure. for you. Am I able to sleep in my form and gain back a charge so I have three charges available, but I'm already in my form? No, I would say if you're going to rest, you have to get your ball. Fine. It's, it's just like chambering another bullet right inside of the slide, dude. Nah, it doesn't work. It gives you plus one over your mag. Yeah. All right. It feels illegal. He sometimes likes fun. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. So, I mean, do we want to be able to try to... I don't know if the traps are over this little zone. I'm assuming this might be somewhat of a safe zone right here. I'd hope. Well, you know, it does look like there's some rubble. Is that just rubble in the corners? What yeah, if we just had somebody keep okay. watch? I, I was going to say that, but also, like, I don't know if the traps would just spawn on top of wherever we're at, and I don't know if this is a safe zone. I'll keep watch. Okay. So do we want to try to take a long rest here and get some heals back and some spell slots, guys? Yeah, I'm down. Sure. Is anyone in a situation where they'd be just fine doing a short rest, and then while you guys are doing a long rest? I will. Okay, yeah. I didn't so take much damage. Ember will take a short rest, and I will take a short rest. So I'm each have back. a shift watching, and then you guys will take a long rest. Okay. okay. Is that cool? It works for me. It's you guys are. It's Ember and your frogman. And then. I'll take the first watch. Now, during its first watch, what does frogman do? So, during, the, during my first watch, kind of. Walk along. I'm I'm walking around the perimeter, and I'm really just kind of scuttling because at this point I'm still the spider bear. Hate the head. And I'm really like I keep scuttling around and I just keep buzzing by Ongo and just like running by him going quack quack quack, and then like scuttling faster. But maybe maybe Am I even gonna be able to get a restful rest. No, you're all asleep. I'm just kind of permeating your nightmares. Cool. I get to have night terrors. Awesome. <laughs> love that. Does I anything that eventful happen on my part? Just looking for the, the roll. Hold on. I have no idea where that was. <laughs> it's at one. He rolled that die so I'm hard. I'm scuttling. Just scuttling? Yeah. Ember, what are you doing during this long run? I'm taking, taking a short rest. rest. What are you doing? Um, well, I'm working on my drawing skills because I've got to map out this stuff, so I'm going to map out the main area while I'm keeping an eye. During the rest, while the party drifts off to sleep, what am I doing? Maybe I should have started the party in the middle. drifts off to sleep, Jay and Ember, some yeah. skeletons of rich. Warning, warning. Abort. Are you yelling out warning, warning? Yeah. Or he's going to let us do our honk shoes while you guys take care of it. Well, I don't have a cool horn, and I'm not very it's good at whistling. skeletons. I start it's quacking as loudly loud as enough. I can to wake everybody up. Shit. Warning, <laughs> warning. <laughs> warning, warning. Probably pretty. Wake up. 
Feel, yeah, as a loud. bear spider, that'd be pretty loud. A bear, a bear spider, dog. All right, let's uh, roll for initiative. Those I wake those. up and I look at the, the frogman and I'm like, you couldn't oh. handle two skeletons, you pussy? I'm trying to sleep. <sighs> Six. Six. Six as well. Six as well, daddy. Number six. Texting my dad. 18. All right. He's always on his phone over there. I'm not always on my phone over there. I got one. One? Not Nat one. Okay. Round five. Sebastian? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, 12. Frogman? 13. And who was the tie? It was us. I got the hypocrisy. All right, just give me a second. The hypocrisy, why? Because I'm playing for two people today. <laughs> I forgot about that one time. Oh, right, well, let's not all get there. Totally yeah, you you get me all right, sweet. Uh, you said, I'm going to beat him? Yeah. There's three skeletons? Yep. All right. Danny, what are we doing? We just uh, woke up the skeletons. And we haven't rested, so we don't have our slot back yet, do we? Could acid splash it, or you could just hang out. Is he close enough? No. How far are they from us? Um, I have to get closer to, to him. I mean, there's choke points. I mean, I don't know if skeletons can go through water. So, I'm one of the only people that's outside of the choke point right now, so you guys should maybe... Defend the center of the base and like use those choke points to your advantage. There are two skeletons. Let's go fuck these skeletons up. Go back to bed. Daddy, where are we going? Uh, uh, can I move like 30 feet radius from them? You want to go towards them? I mean, yeah, but I want to be 30 feet away. For your acid spray, you have to be within 10 feet. Oh, remember that. It's 10. It's yeah. 10 feet for acid That's spray. 15 feet, so that is 10 feet away from the first one. Um, and how much does he move to get to this point? 15. You can move after, if you attack with your acid spray, you can move back another 10 feet. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll attack with my acid spray. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, so, con saving con, throw yeah. from the skeleton? Is a fail. All right, 1d12. Yep. I don't have it out. You know, I think it's this one. The skeleton is. There you go. Fair. He has not held it in. Four. Hey, we take it. Skeleton is. When so might so that go up to two d twelve for him? Let's find out. Now it is on pure bone. Dude, would you want to move back? Yes. Dana moving his 10 feet back. How much damage did it do, sorry? Four. 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 And then wait. we don't know if it has any wait. weaknesses to add um, or not. Do I add anything to this? You don't. No. Okay. Yeah. That's why I was asking. Nah. He's immune to poison. It's not poison. It's acid. Is it acid spray? My bad. It's acid. Poison spray. Alright, All right, there you go. There's a very fine distinction. Bala. Bala, bala. Shot collar. Next up, we got. Oh, Remember, moving back 10 more feet. Move back down more feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, up next, we have our skeletons here. First one is going to try to get as close to Amber. Oh, yeah, right up in our face. Great Barrier Reef. And he's going to swing, swing away. Amber, your AC is 11. Yeah, he hit you for. Five piercing damage. No, it's not too bad. Uh, next one is going to charge straight for Daddy. And miss you. Nice. Next one is going to charge straight past Frogman for Daddy. Because you're the first one in his way to get to what he wants. What does he want? He's going to hit you for five piercing damage. What does he want? Well, they're coming to me. Oh, yeah, you've got that trinket. Yeah, it's literally in there. It says that what, holding the trinket, the other creatures in the dungeon can see oh, man. and are drawn to you. All right. I would like to attack the skeleton closest to me. Yeah, that's right. Start with my bite. 
And that is going to be 24, which that hits. Alright, that's 1d8 plus 4. Down it goes. No, <laughs> it was on an angle. He says whatever he wants. Hey, we we've been following fun. the rules. Twenty three. So this one's two d six plus four. Four. Five. Thirteen. Thirteen damage. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that one goes down. So, I, I rip off the skeleton's the story arm, every time. <laughs> and then I give it a little skeleton tattoo on its other arm with its arm. Alright, let's go to the next person. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Run up to the skeleton and I cut him the fuck up. First one's a miss. Alright, so this one is dead, not bad. Second one is also I'm assuming that these skeletons have <laughs> slashing resistance. Yeah, you said this one eventually you get there. Alright, um that was Sebastian, so we're on to Ando. Uh where did my Am I within twenty feet of that first skeleton right there? Yeah. We're ignoring the two point one. All right, yeah, no, I'll just, uh, I'll chuck both my daggers at him. First dagger is a 20, 30, and damage, six. Second dagger, 18. Six. Six, 12 damage on the other? Yes, sir. All right, tell me how that one goes down. Yeah, no, both daggers land the eye pockets and just pull the head right off the body. All right. We are on two. That was on go over here. All right. Uh, I will move up to that skeleton and I'm going to slash that out with my sword. So that is, oh, sorry. That's 25. I'll let you to the side. Yeah, you're good. All right. So eight's not going to hit. I'm going to swing with my shield. And uh, six is also not going to hit. No, it's not. Alright, good turn, good turn. Rat <laughs> Power slide, baby. Alright, you're way back. Yeah! <laughs> How far can you power slide? Uh, I thought it was 45 again. feet. It was, In 45 feet? It was Oops. some yeah. 20 feet. Yeah. <laughs> your, your phone's ready. <laughs> what a power slide. <laughs> you can slide farther than you can run. This man lives feet. and breathes rock and roll. 20 feet. Okay, so you have to be up to 20 feet. That's how you went 45 feet, because you moved 25. Right, so that's slid. 30 feet, and if you power slide, you are going to be going through Ember and uh, Rivera. That's a Word. risk rat mode would be willing to take. Absolutely. I can just say that knowing rat mode. Well, it's not me. He's so just actually. Rat skeleton, rat he's like power slide. Ratma <laughs> rat mad, rat slide. Uh, right, yeah, rat mode slide through him. Mm -hmm. What's it say? DC 10. <coughs> uh, charisma prevents prone. All right. 1d4 charisma. if you're not prone. It must be based on the <coughs> spell modifier. Okay. Are we knocked over as All well? All right, the skeleton's good. You have to roll, and if you get a, at no. least a 10 or higher, <laughs> then you don't get knocked from. Nice. All right, 18. So, <laughs> Rivera's done. We'll go down. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage does he take? Clumsy, big boy. <laughs> yeah! Did you ask me how shit I did? <laughs> Two. Uh, Two damage. What's the ability say, Foley? He goes prone. And, uh, read it. Because everybody's still like Power down. side, okay. ability charge, 20 foot. 1d4, knock prone, dc 10 charisma. Yeah, so everyone's Prevents taking prone. 1d4 regardless. Two charges, one with short rest. Yeah, so everyone's player still knocked damage. down gives 50 gold to each other player for <laughs> 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 He doesn't even use gold. <laughs> All right, so it's 1d4 per person. So roll for Ember and Skeleton. They were saved, I thought. Yeah. No, they still get knocked down. They still take damage. One for Ember. Three for the Skeleton. All right. And with that, let's go to our next player. Ember. <laughs> Ember is sleepy. Leave him alone. Ember, you are right in front of us. All right. Um, well, I am going to, I guess, just sock him in the face 
with yes. my Hit him fist. In the <laughs> with your what? With your hand? Yeah, what about for with sure. an arrow? No, 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 well, he's right in front of me. I can't necessarily. Like, Maybe use your that's bow. That's awkward. It's like a bat. That would be awkward. Punch him. Yeah, so. All right, let's get strength throw. D20. I'm going to add your strength modifier to it. 20. And then I'm add 20? what? Yeah, nat oh, 20. Shit, it's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing two damage to the skeleton. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> Tell me how it goes down. <laughs> Tell me. How that would be one hell of a punch. Oh my gosh! It just like flips around she and around and around and then comes back forward. All right, Daddy, we're back to you. Let's go. <sighs> Uh, if that thing is dead, then what do I need to do? Move closer to try to kill the last. Oh, there's He's a second just, one. No, I just knocked him for two. Oh. Um, that guy is taking six damage. I'm assuming he has four health left. Then yeah, let's move up. Let me move up closer to him. But let's go through the grass way. The center. He is taking mm-hmm. five. Mm-hmm. Five. I thought. Wait, no. Yeah, he did three damage to the end of the grassway. Yeah. Towards this guy. Yeah. Alright, there's twenty feet. And I should be ten feet away from him. Yep. So I'll poison spray him, or acid spray him. Sorry. He's good. Okay. It's our skeleton's turn, and he's going to attack Ember again. Or yeah, Ember again. Great Barrier Reef. He is going to hit Ember for... A shield interposes itself. All right, that's fine. It's blocked. And we're back to Frogman. Where's the next closest skeleton to me? Up at the top Up right the top there. there. That's the last one. All right. Thanks, bud. Uh, how far away am I? Love it. 40 feet. Well, I have 40 feet of movement speed. I would like to go there. First, I'm going to use my bite. That's a miss. And then that one. Time my turn. All right, you're going first. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'm just like on my back tr- attempting to scuff. <laughs> <laughs> right up ten at him. All, All ten right. legs just. That Ooh. is thirty feet right there. You are ten feet away from him. Chuck a jack. Twenty-one. I have large bear spider things. Twenty-one. So everybody knows. You're ten feet away from him. Coming out. Oh, I'm ten feet field. away from him. Yeah. Just 30 feet to get up this place. Dash my action? Or oh, bonus? Your bonus. Yeah, dash me up. Right. I attack him. All right. 21, and then a 17. Both hits. Both hits. Hell yeah, baby. Are people within five feet? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, he's about to get nuked. Good. I believe I get a bonus D6. I'd like to resume my honk shoes. Honk honk. Yes. Shoo. Okay, so four, five, seven. Seven total? No. Or four, five, and seven. Five. Four, okay. five. Oh, yeah, he's, he got moved. They were just skeleton. I just popped this head off. All right. I said, it's my gold trinket, bitch. I'm going to go back to bed. All right. I rem- immediately resume honk shooing. All right, you guys are all going back to bed, keeping Ember and... Uh, Frogman on watch. How, how bad is Ember right now? Uh, She's been hit by it for 10? Uh, yeah. Well, I no, have, she got hit for 5. because I have 14 right now, so I'm only down 6. Uh, a short rest will take care of it. How many actions are you down, though? She doesn't really have... I, I don't the know unless only... for fire arrow. I don't know if you have a set amount for fire arrow that Whatever. you can use per Wait, day. Let's go. Fire arrow let's... has a set amount. I know that. Yeah. Well, it says uh, two charges minute. per day. Okay. She'll get one back in a short rest, though. So. Yep, so she'll be... T- I've only off. thrown one. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so Ongo, or not Ongo, Frogman and Ember will get one charge back on their spells. And the rest of the team will be getting all of their charges back for their long rest. And Give me my dog back. Uh, Pop him. Is there Frogman anything back. to loot on those skeletons? Do you want to get them out? Something. Give me a All right. Um, we, could, we could get some big mushroom and berries. Frog man, if you've taken damage at all, just give me. Go, go ahead and roll a D8 for me and add that back to your health. All right. I haven't taken any sure damage else. in my normal uh, form, so I'll just pop out and I have all nice. my Nice. And are we rolling to 230 or 3? Uh, 230. Okay. All right. And we're, you guys wake up not knowing if you've been asleep for a long time or a short time. Who knows? 
but I feel rested. Does anybody have any empty flasks? You wake up to the alarm no. that is a roar in the distance. It seems to have gotten much closer than last time. Yeah, we need Wait. to start running away from that. So I was just, we were just sleeping? We don't know where it's yes, coming from. Yes, we all slept. We all got our cards back. That's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's right. You did just say that. Mm-hmm. We were in the middle of yeah. sleeping, and then we got interrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. No, I knew that part. the front of your control. All right, so... Because we're headed to the bottom right in some fashion. Yeah, because we saw another color down there. It was like a bluish... It looked like there... Oh, wait, no, never mind. You guys get a majestic blue potion. Ooh. A majestic blue... blue, looks, blue? That's not its name. That's just what it looks like. Oh. You don't know its name or what it does. You're welcome to just drink it from your way. <laughs> Don't know if that's a good idea. Yep. Don't know if it's a bad idea. Really well so far. Can uh, Can Ember like sip it and then roll an alchemist check to figure uh, out what should, it does? Wouldn't she be able to just like, yeah, do an alchemist check without sipping it? Uh, we could get a nature check on it and see if you know what it is. Let's go medicine check. And as a master alchemist, I feel like she should get advantage on that. Yeah. What What do I need to roll? A d20. D20 twice. Pick the higher number. Medicine check. Three. Do I have to add anything? Roll Zero. Again. No. And a five. So 13. This potion's name is for worse or for better. I don't oh like that. God. I just kept it so ambiguous. <laughs> I don't like that. That's why I shared it. <laughs> <laughs> just so everybody knows, this is what the... Bear spider. <laughs> gotcha. It's horrible, and I hate it. This Even is, worse than I thought I it's did. It's mixed in with the frog form, too. Yeah, no, don't like it. <laughs> All right, which way So that's going? scuttling around. All right, so if we're heading towards the east here, it looks like it's a dead end. Let's go to the mouth of it and see if that makes it uh, yeah, obvious. Like right down? Or yeah, right? just to the down right. Just like one, two steps. Oh, there's more that two way. Two step. Two step. <laughs> Alright, so let's go down that way. Alright. Snap your fingers. Nothing yet. Oh, oh. You can do it. Out. By yourself. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay. Alright. Leave out this way. I guess go farther to the east and then south again. Yeah, because weast was not very fruitful. It was not. Which way? Down or right? High on the right. All right, we're going left. Left, all right. It's another dead end. Damn it. And you turn Just what I've always wanted. Go out the other way. <laughs> not this time. All right, and then back to the right. Yeah. Oh, we see some new terrain. Is that ice? Ice, 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 Just ice, like Spider-Man. Man, did, did, did. Oh my god. That's a terrifying detail. The webbed tail. Alright, which way do you want to go? It smells horrible. Uh, uh, frick. Alright. This, this ice? looks like it could be a dead end, so let's just Percent. check to make sure it is. Yeah. To the right. Let's make sure it's a dead end. Eight. What's the name of that? It was an eight procession. And then we can choose the direction. Hey guys, it's cold. I'm a little chilly. All right. Which My one? bear fur is. We're just gonna check warm. um. To the east. Oh my gosh! Did you step out there? Yeah, you know, just snow. make sure. Okay, perfect. We're I glad. We well, wouldn't. Love it. I would have looked in there from there and been like, oh, it's a dead end. I like to think that your team wasn't that smart. Must be. I've met We're really not. I've met some of the members on your team. Hey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know that's also a dead end. It okay. Like right so we're us. gonna oh, we're gonna and go. As you turn back from the dead end, you hear the mechanical clicking sounds from the wall. Oh boy. Oh shit. No roar though. All right. We're gonna continue on. Roar. Go right, guys. Go right. Don't quit doing this left bullshit. Go right. Okay. okay. We've been leaving it to RNG, yeah, this whatever down. direction we want to take. And we're going to RNG to the right. Well, let's go south. But he does yeah. have webbed feet right. now. This is, that thing is the definition of inbreeding. Which way am I going? 
Yeah. Self looks like an enzyme. It's terrifying. I'm going to say right now, guys, that's the I think we could check it. Like, what if it goes that way? It doesn't okay. hurt to check. I Let's forgot go south. Because we're mapping it out anyway, you know? know? It's got cold, ah, dead eyes, like a dog. Huh? Survival. 20? Eight. Eight? Oh, no. As you fail that check, you notice that a icicle, giant icicle, begins to fall at you from the sea. Ah. You gotta stop staring straight up at this. <laughs> Can I get an acrobatics check from you? You're gonna poke your eye out, kid. I'm surprised that Five. the Final Destination movies haven't had one that's fallen to the ceiling and hit someone. Four. I would think they would, yeah. One damage. That's nah, not so bad. Uh, it's just crazy to think about how many people out. actually are killed like annually from icicles. Almost, uh, probably yeah. more than sharks, to yeah. be honest. And vending machines. And coconuts. Vending machines? Are vending machines kill on? more people annually than sharks do. That's weird. Yeah, we're going south. All right. Cows kill more people than a, a lot of machines. things People do. trying to shake them to get whatever is stuck oh, in there, and then it falls on top right. of them. Well, that's just and they die from it? Yeah. We're going left. Them's some heavy boys. <laughs> oh. But still not as dangerous as a hippo. Oh, and up, oh, yeah. Oh, it's a dead end. Damn. Hippo. As you head back, you hear mechanical warnings in the wall. Me, yes. Down. All right. We got back where we came. We made it fully split and right. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and go back where we came. All right. Like safety. And I guess let's confirm if that's a dead end. Up. Yeah. Up. I'd like to. Well, in here. So go well, in and then. No loot if we'll look it's all getting back to the left, or? Yeah. Yes. So this way. No. No. What if we'll I'll go back down into that tube and then down the hallway. You want to go right and then where? And then I want to turn left and up there and see what's over right. there. Yeah, that one's a dead end. You want to keep going up to the right? Yeah. I wanted to see if that one was a dead end because I didn't map that one out. Cool. Nancy, well, turn around the corner. It does. It's a dead end. end. Okay. Well, end. it is a dead end. And as you head back, Stephanie, can I get a survival check? As you hear mechanical whirring through the wall. No. Four. Four? All right. As you fail that check, A, Ice Spike ends up shooting at you from the wall. Oh, fuck. Taking four points of damage. No, no save at all? Not on those no. ones. Traps, unfortunately, are undodgeable. Some of them are dodgeable. Yeah, true. I mean, like, yeah. yeah. What's the advantage you take? Oh, look. I've been impaled. Okay, uh, so this <laughs> ice area, yeah. I think we can leave. Oh, no. I am bleeding. <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta go south. Oh, it's a dead end. All right. They're already worrying. <laughs> every time we had a dead end, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, just, I can't just do it every time, you know? You are They're correct. It seems like this part of your map is explored. Good. Yeah, so fuck this place. Let's All leave. right. So we can put a big X on it and a big X on this guy. You literally just put it there for us to get hurt. Essentially. Yep. All right, oh. you want to explain where else where we go? Um, should we go north? Yeah, let's do it. North? Are we going to the poison area? Over here or like up north? Um, we go to the right, that's maybe there's the poison something, area. Maybe there's something to the far right, though. That, the far Because you only went up, up. You yeah. never went to the side. Do you want to go and explore this one? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds cool. Oh, crap. Well. Mm, let's keep going up. Oh, shit. Are you about to head into the void? Alright, that, that does head to the top right of the maze. So I can finagle my way over there if you want to go that way. But Currently don't. Say, try the other way first. Yeah. Right. Just keep it on you so you can just get full exploration. And get the achievement from it. <laughs> nice. Two dead ends. Lift all the fog of war. How many, how many gamer scores is this worth? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> 30 points. Alright, so it looks like top right. You can explore one more part of this labyrinth. Let's make sure right here that this is a dead end. I'm not going to say that you guys are going there, but yeah. So I figured you'd see it, but I wanted to make sure. 
Alright, this is your fast path on the bottom right. And it seems like you guess two to the top right. So let's, do you want to go top right of the map now? So do we want to go through the poison area, or do we want right, to go to the top left? Let's do the top right. Let's do the poison area. Right. Got another 15 minutes of see what we can accomplish. Roll 20. Well, that's not good. Okay. Loading. Had to think, had to think. How dare my technology not work as like as soon as I want it to? I know, on command. Seamlessly just go. You're Loading telling me time? we landed on the moon when we only had like a few dozen lines of code versus the billions of code that we had now? All right, let's Lies. It was in fact not uh, just a dozen lines of code. Right, it was so a lot more. Oh yeah, the, I know. But individual area. lines for every single piece yeah. of equipment. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's a big area. Go. North, let's keep let's Sorry. clear it out. Damn, I'm hitting everything. Damn. So that's a dead end. That is for sure a dead end. Are you sure? And then <laughs> I'm good. So I guess we'll go east. So it looks like and then are we... Nope, going down is going to be another dead end, looks like. Do we want to go north? Maybe? Yeah, I think going north. I think south is another dead end. Okay, let's go north. All right. All right, so we're either going west or east. Let's do west. West? South. That's a dead end, but let's clear it out anyway. All right. Can you guys see that? You start hearing mechanical <laughs> whirring from the wall. <laughs> All right, you want to go back to the left, or do you want to explore more of this area? Um, yeah, to see you guys. Let's clear it. Yeah, let's clear it out. Yeah, I think south is another dead end, so I think going east and then north. Yep. yep, we can definitely see it. So this was a deadly one. I apologize, guys. Can I get a nature check from everybody except for Rivera and Daddy? This so. is a 19. That one! I meant survival. Oh, yeah. Oh, survival, dirty one. Just the labyrinth eats you. Yeah, dirty 20. This will balance out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me his shit luck. <laughs> Let him have all of it, I beg. I got a 14. Anyone that rolls less than a 15. Crap. Oh, fuck. You all end up getting shot with a poison arrow, taking two damage. So I'll take four damage for the crit. No, you're okay. Okay, cool. It's poison now, guys. Now, are they poison now? Do we have any potions for, like, antidotes or anything? Uh, the only one that comes to mind is for worse or for best. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say. I that Sorry. I'm so curious. It's such a good one. It's I so, don't I think you want to take that until we're fighting the Minotaur. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to roll a medicine check to see what this poison is doing to any of the people who have been poisoned. Um, I'm going to laugh at them for being poisoned. You notice it looks like a, a small amount of poison. It, it, it might. I am going uh, to, after being poisoned, I'm going to turn into my spider bear form. This time, instead of being the size of a bear, though, I'm the size of a spider. All right. And I go and I... Just yeah, burrow myself in the and I'm going to tell him if Rivera fell asleep or was just like two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to contemplate like how bad this poison is because essentially two thirds of our party just got poisoned. You notice that it's it it the wounds are poisoned, but it doesn't look too deadly. Question: 
This, if we, this feels contrary to what you said immediately before <laughs> poisoning everyone. He did say this is a dangerous one. I think one. he said that just because he hit everyone. Yeah, <laughs> everybody got basically... If we were to have a hit. snake bite into somebody, could the snake not inject venom and instead try to suck the poison back out? I don't think it's how snakes work. No, it's definitely not how snakes work. <laughs> I think you need to my idea of <laughs> I know plenty about snakes. You don't know shit. Work. No, you're still poison. It's a matter of what form. I like that idea of the for better or for worse potion. Or for worse. I feel like you, I know you love this because you invented it, but I just, I feel like we should use this in an extreme situation because at least if we die, it'll be funny. Yes, uh, I agree. I concur. Uh, I guess we'll go Here, north. Let's, uh, let's get a medicine check from uh, Ember with a damage. Oh, I got a and four. Roll it, again. roll it again and see if you do better. 16. Yeah. All right, you can tell that this, for better or worse potion, is not supposed to be drank by just one person. Wonderful. So we, each person that got oh. hit, maybe we should each take a sip. So it's like Russian roulette almost. That's so it's great. like... You know, you so disagree? some people <laughs> might, some people might get hurt, and some people might Russian get roulette. healthy. I think it's gonna be like a Russian roulette kind of deal. Are you guys willing to take this potion with me? I'm willing to watch you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess. I don't think you guys should drink that potion. I think you should just wait. We wait. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think we should wait too. All right. All it, right. Yeah. I guess Slow, we'll painful wait. deaths are kind of funny in a kind of uh, fucked up way, too, I guess. <laughs> can we go to the end of the hall? I just want to see if there's anything. Boom. Okay, there is another hallway down there. It looks like a dead end to me. Do you want to confirm? Well, every time we turn around, something bad happens. Check so out. Check it out. <laughs> it's really, I don't know, guys. I don't have the map in front of me. Well, I keep pulling it up. I think I, I kind of want to go back and explore up first. I could okay. be messing with you, though, too, to be fair. Yeah, well, let's go explore up right there. We're going to explore up. I thought north was up on the map. It's supposed to be. It doesn't have to be. So you know if you flip the map around, no, this is I you want to keep going? Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go east. As you proceed, everyone who's poisoned takes two damage. And your poison fades away. Oh, good. That's bad. Minus the fact that I just lost four health. <laughs> no, you have plenty to spare, right? You're an archer. You're probably really beefy. Well, I'm down six. Oh, I oh. see a chest in the room. Oh. Ooh. It's definitely like a mimic or something, guys. They haven't pulled this shit before. I, Let's do it. One Fuck perception. It. 21 procession? Yeah. It looks like an old wooden crate. It's I'll walk up and I'll go... in the middle of the labyrinth, though. Hold Maybe on. Maybe this is the base camp? Hey, can you make this stone magical? Magic oh, stone. Not while he's a spider bear thing right now. He can't cast like that. I would look. Can I? No, I would no, like to roll I'm an not, arcana oh, check. Yeah, no, I turned into this. To I'd like to roll an arcana check against this. Yeah, go for it. Nat 20. Nat 20. You feel like any arcana check you make, any magic you can feel in the area, is almost being blocked by an item that Sebastian seems to be carrying on him. That's pretty fucked up. Like it's almost drawing all magic to itself. All right. I guess just because we're all feeling it, I'm going to go over and I'm going to stab the chest. Uh, With just enough force to actually damage the wood. Rivera, you approach the chest. And as you do, you are ambushed by a giant snake. And that is where we will call... Our round of D&D. Woo! Oh, the man. snake was smart Sunday. enough to use it as bait. Nice Sunday, Fuck that snake. Another it's round a of snake of snake. Snake. Tower Games. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember, we are doing a giveaway for our sweatshirt. Uh, you can see on the walls behind us, New School Games, New School Project hoodies that you can pick up at newschoolproject.us. In order to get in the giveaway, all you have to do is chat in our channel and follow the channel. Uh, we are also, this week, for some reason, <laughs> giving away Pac-Man Jones Fedora, signed by... I want it. Because it's funny. Why else? I want it. Everyone wants it because it's ridiculous that he even owns a fedora. It's <laughs> 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 not bad that he owns multiple fedoras and can give them away. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you get in the giveaway this week. Head over to newschoolproject.us to pick up the merch. And head over to 
on YouTube, uh, New School Gaming on YouTube, to check out the channel and some videos we make. Uh, but we will be back Monday with a stream from W and Sunday with another Tower of Dreams. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye. I love Bye, you. Bye, guys.